Truth seekers, let's get down to it because what we're going to be talking about right now is bunkers and possibly an outbreak that is happening. I want to talk to you about what is going on right now. I don't know if you have been paying attention, but a lot of these celebrities are buying freaking bunkers, okay? We're talking bunkers, underground bases, or converted underground bases for protection or whatever it is. Now, I've been looking into this for quite some time, and it's going to be interesting to you to probably the possibility of why they are doing this. Number one, why would you need a bunker? Why was bunker designed in the first place? Well, they were designed in a military use so that missile silos or maybe important officials can go underground to survive whatever things that are happening up above, whether it's missiles, whether it's some type of contamination, Maybe there's a nuclear fallout. There's a whole lot of reasons why people would want bunkers. Now, if you start thinking about it today, and then we're going to get into a little bit where this covers a little bit of us in our, what I call UFO zone and where we are with this, we're going to talk about the underground where aliens would stay and why humans now are building underground bunkers. And there's a reason why it's all coming above right after this. So once again, like I was talking about, welcome back. It is Friday. I'm Roderick Martin, and I am here with High Strangeness YouTube channel. We're going to talk about some high strangeness today, and a lot of things we're going to get into, you may not believe it. But as I said, as you saw the thumbnail, thumbnail we're talking about the zombie deer and where apocalypse doomsday bunkers are on the rise. Man, there are so many moving parts that we're going to get into tonight. It's going to really tickle Probably your fancy, so to speak. I don't know. But what we're going to do, though, the evidence is going to clearly show you there's a reason why you need to get a bunker, why you need to prepare for it just like everyone else. And how can we do that? What if we put some community plan together like some of these other people are doing and put together the bunker? Let me start out with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Uh, let's get into that right now. Jay-Z and Beyonce bought a $200 million property most recently. What the, where everybody was looking into is that this property had a or has a bunker underneath. Now, why would some of the most wealthiest people around on the planet want? And that's not the most. It, it is a beautiful place. It's in Irvine, California. It's the most expensive place there, but it has a bunker. But why would they? They can have places all over the world. They can buy their own island for crying out loud. But they bought a place with a bunker. Mark Zuckerberg is building a bunker. Rick Ross, out of all people, Rick Ross, if y'all know who that is, I have an Instagram where he was talking about, get ready, he's building a bunker, he's building his own, he was saying, hey, Elon Musk, I thank you for the insight, I'm building a bunker. People, let me tell you something. They don't just make this stuff up when it comes down to this. The rich are not just putting their money just into the dirt for a reason when it comes down. But I will tell you about Rick Ross. I'm, I'm, I've always been astounded of his progress and where he's come from and how he's developed. But he wastes no time putting the message out to the public in some kind of way. And this is one of the ways he did it. He was like, hey, I wish, you know what, if I get my email open for you in a minute, I'm going to play the clip of what he said, and you're going to be just blown away from it. But where I'm going with this is, it's real. Now, why are they doing this? That's the question that we can ask ourselves any kind of way. We can think about, is there some type of doomsday? And they're calling it doomsday. And why are they putting this out there? Or, or why are they all shifting to do this? Well, once again, it comes for a reason. And that particular reason 
is theirs. And we're going to dig in deep to find out why some of these stars like Rick Ross, uh, you know, Jay-Z, Beyonce, you know, together as a couple, uh, Jeff Bezos, Sam Altman, the guy over Open Eye, and plenty others are building these bunkers. But let me tie something in with you. Let me take you all the way back to a situation. If you have not paid attention, there was a documentary series called Missing 411. Have any of you remember that? By David Pilates, all right? David Pilates put out a Missing 411 documentary series. It was three series. It wasn't until the third series called The UFO Connection where he started doing that some of these people that are coming up missing in the forest. Now, I know you might be asking, Roger, where are we going with that? Well, I'm glad you asked, because if you hadn't saw it, there was a few segments within that documentary. He alluded to a disease that was spreading in the forest that was going untalked about, which was called the zombie disease. And that's the kind of uh, the term they're using for the, 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 de or the deer or whatever. But it has an official name. But he was talking about how this thing was going around and it was on the elk and all of this stuff that was out there. But what he did say, surprisingly enough, now sit down for this one. Sit down for what I'm about to say. He said that when they started doing the film, they started getting stories of people talking about not just alien abductions, but aliens, ships or spacecrafts and probes was coming down, picking up deer and elk you know, like putting them in, these ones that had this disease. And it's almost to a point, and I'm going to move right along, as though they were trying to maybe cure it, figure it out. They already was on top of it. They knew that this was going on. It's out there. It was going around. So there could be the possibilities of what we're looking at, that there are, you know, this this thing. And so he he was talking about it. He was talking about how that, you know, the, the aliens were picking these things up. Now, that goes back to the theories that we've done. And if you have a memory, go back and watch a couple of the videos I've done that they could be here to protect Earth. Earth is kind of this project planet and behind the scenes that they're working on. And maybe they found that this, this zombie disease could possibly turn it into a potential human threat. And this was three to four years ago. And now I've been seeing a lot of articles that was three and four years old, but now they are now bigger in the mainstream that this thing is spreading. So I know we talk about it. We talk about all of these different things, but let me put something out here. Elon Musk, by the way, let me go back to uh, this particular cool guy. I, I think he's a cool guy uh, for some reasons. But if you remember, he came out with this particular vehicle. This vehicle that he came out was a cyber truck. People were laughing, oh, it's ugly, it's crazy, it, 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 you know, it doesn't have all this look. But this guy said that he made this thing, and if you can read the small print, designed to withstand disasters, hurricanes, okay, hurricanes, earthquakes, and last but not least, even zombie apocalypse. Why would a billionaire try to sell a vehicle to the public or rich people? Because it, it starts around 70000 to hundred k for this thing. Why would he put that out there in terms of marketing? You could imagine his marketing team, his crew. Everybody would have said, no, no, Elon, don't do it. It's stupid. Don't talk about an apocalypse and zombies. Why would he do it if it hadn't been some type of potential threat that he knows about. And at the same time, Rick Ross, which I got the clip, I'm going to see if I can play it some kind of way, do a screen share, talks about the fact that he got the idea from uh, Elon Musk to come back and build a underground bunker. And he says, thank you, Elon Musk, but mine is going to have a carport. Mine is going to have wings. Mine is going to have whatever. Now, I started doing research. And in this research talks about how a lot of these wealthy people 
are going in on bunkers in other countries, most likely places to be safe, like New Zealand and all this. I don't know if that means zombies or whatever can't make it there. But there's two things I would say this. If it's some type of alien uh, incursion or invasion from aliens, well, where is the most safest place to be? And if it's also something that's going to be happening on the above ground, where is the most safe place to be? Now, we can take this in count. We talk about this in movies. We talk about, well, maybe, you know, this is untrue. This is not it. But something is going on. And this is where I've always been a prepper, okay? I've always been a prepper. We'll talk about that in a minute, give you some, some options of some people that I've been working with over the last few weeks, some military, some high covert people building what I call bug out kits and bags for things to come. And I'm going to show you because I'm just, I'll show you that in a little bit, but here's what I'm talking about. I've always been a prepper. I remember years ago, I ran into this guy who was trying to sell me some, uh, this was back then. And he was trying to sell me a, a storm cellar shelter type thing. And I had already been in a tornado. It already had destroyed the house. So he knew he can sell it. But I still wasn't interested in it. And I said, no, unless you can give me an underground bunker. And he laughed. Ooh, who would need those things? Boy, I would love to see his face today. And when I started doing research, what was an idea to talk to y'all about, this is a fad that is everywhere. People are buying bunkers, building them for some reason, for some reasons, all right? And there's a lot of reason why you want to go underground if something's going to be happening above ground. Now, okay, we can go back to our ancestral, ancestral lineage to the aliens all day long. We can talk about that, and we can talk about our aliens' friends who are now what we call hollow earth or inner earth, and they found that that's the best place to live and grow for years. And why wouldn't they when we think the most beautiful place is up on the top? But that's not the theory that they have. They're saying they better be, they're better off being underground away from all of these things and potential threats and everything else. So why is that not feasible or something for us to be thinking about? Okay, let's think about it. But when we do take into account of all the stuff that, can happen above ground floods. And, you know, we go back into our history and, and nuclear and extension of level events and all of these things. But obviously at this point, once again, there is a move. So let me put into some perspective. I found an article and this particular article was talking about the fact that this, this zombie disease was spreading in the U S and it could affect humans. Now, they have not had a lot of cases that they're putting out there, so I'm not saying that it's happening, but they are saying that this is possible. And I got a few clips, and I'm going to show you a couple of them about some things that are happening with these deer. Check this out. That's crazy. That, that's crazy, people. That's a, you see the eyes on a thing just like a zombie. Now, from what I understand when I'm doing some research, this disease is highly contagious throughout the forest land, and it is spreading. In fact, Nicole, who's one of our researchers, she said that they see them all the time in their neighborhood, and it's getting more prevalent. But once again, maybe it had mutated yet or hopped over like some of these other viruses and things into its human. People, you know, we talk about those movies. They, they don't just make this stuff up. This stuff is happening when it comes down to this. And what do we do? Well, once again, I have a video that they're talking about bunkers and how they're selling them. Check this out. Of nowhere, rural Kansas, the site of an abandoned nuclear missile silo. Armed security patrol the entrance to a doomsday bunker that's reserved for the wealthy elite, and sales are booming. Since the uh, election of Donald Trump, we've seen a whole new demographic of people calling in, people that didn't know we existed before. Larry Hall is the owner of the Survival Condo Project. These 16,000 pound doors lock you inside. We're heading deep below the surface of the earth into an underground bunker like no other. We are in a typical full floor residential unit 
And even though we are more than 100 feet underground right now, you can see that it's certainly not a claustrophobic area. 12 luxurious condos exist here with fireplaces, high-end appliances, jacuzzis, even windows. Yes, windows. High-definition TVs broadcast a live feed of the outside world right into your living room. The price tag for this three-bedroom, two-bath condo, $2.3 million. Well, as the sign says, welcome to the beach. And look at this. It's a swimming pool with a slide and waterfall. Other common areas include a movie theater, rock climbing wall, and shooting range. There's even a farm that grows all the fresh fruits and vegetables you'll need. This can grow up to 70 different uh, species of plants, lettuces, uh, tomatoes, carrots. People, I'm saying to you, you know, were we without, it would have been a joke. You know, somebody said, oh, I want to get bonkers. I even read an article that Elon Musk's exit strategy is if he had to leave humanity, he's already prepared to go to Mars. This is why we're seeing all of this space exploration. He's like, I'm going to get off the planet if I need to. This is crazy when it comes down to it. Now, if you think that's crazy now, I was talking to a guy and I, we were talking about this and I told him I'm going to be talking about it. This was two weeks ago. I was going to bring this conversation up and we start talking about, he says, man, you know that a lot of people are, are preppers for this. And he has a highly sophisticated company. And I told him that I was looking for products and stuff eventually for my truth seekers and what we're going to do. We sat down, he came into Dallas and we started talking. He was like, man, let me just put this on the screen while we're talking, just to let you know. I posted it on a community page the other day. They're already, now we have access to this on prepare, uh, preparednesslife.com, okay? They already got zombie bags already ready, survival gear. Now, it's already got survival gear in it, but it's already designed for zombies. And we can laugh about it, but take a look at it. I mean, it's got some serious blades, some serious stuff in this thing, but this is in some of the more covert areas that they're talking about this stuff. We don't talk about a lot of that in our communities, but you're talking a bug eye bag that's already prepared for some, some stuff that could bring out, and people are building bunkers and, going, and preparing to go on the ground, and there's a lot of articles talking about some zombie uh, thing that's making deer turn into zombie that has not creeped over into humans yet, which possibly could do it at some point. Can we put two to two together? And think about that. What are y'all thoughts on that? I'm not, I'm just talking about it, but I will say this. If you're around anyone in your life that is not believing in bug out bags or all of this, get, have a long talk with them for starters. And if not prepare, because this stuff is serious. And, and I'll say this is because it's not just about a bag for zombies. It, it could be anything else. And I'll put that on here. But anyway, by the way, there's a website there on the screen. You're welcome to go uh, shop. It's prepared in this life. It's tied to us. It's something I was doing five, six, seven years ago. I had no clue how significant it'll be today. And I, I used to didn't talk about it a lot with you all because I just didn't want to put a fear out there. But I keep a, I always tell you, I got bug out bags. They stay here. I got one in a car. And I got these new ones now and everything else. And it's prepared. Now, I can remember, and I'm telling this story that we're going to tie it back in. I've had friends that was married, had boyfriends that, you know, they got into fights, called me. This was years back. You know, I'm out. I didn't. I said, well, where are you going? I don't know. I don't have anything with me. I just left the house. Even bug out bags are good for that because they have everything you need. It could be stuff in there for five to seven days if you had to go and just stay low and, and maybe not tell your parents or cousins because you know how it works. You get back together in relationships. If you don't told them all the bad stuff, it never go. So you might want to just sit it out and don't. But anyway, if you have to get off the grid, you can get off the grid. These things are there, but we don't do that in our community. We're not preppers like that because we only see it for some negative stuff. But there are some stuff on the site, simple bags. There's even one for alien. I've talked to the, these people work for, you know, formal governments and stuff. They got alien bug out bags. This is not no novelty stuff. It's got two way radios and all this stuff. This is it right here or whatever. Yeah, right there. It's on the website. Check that stuff out, man, and you will be blown away. So let's get back down to 
what I'm talking about. We'll go back to that in a little bit. So your question would be, shouldn't we dig deeper into why they are buying bunkers? Shouldn't we dig deep into that? Absolutely, we should. Should we not even think about ourselves in the future? Why won't we do this? And I'll tell you right now, I'm a single man. I'm a single as they come today, okay? And I will tell you that my plan is to buy a bunker in the next two to three years. Now, the one that you saw in the commercial right there, they said it was $2.3 million. We go, wow, that's a lot of money. That video was a year ago, and when I went to their website and started looking at some of their new bills, $4 million because they're sold out on all the other stuff. Right? Is this crazy? Is there, are they on to something? Do they know something is there? Do they know something is going to exist where they can stay on the ground for two years? Do they know things? And Rick Ross and a lot of these people are sitting out there. So you put this side of the fence that – they're all maneuvering to get bunkers because of, they call them doomsday bunkers. You put on this side of the fence, there's something is out there that's spreading around called a zombie and deers are getting it. It is there. And you put in the middle the public of everything else. And on top of that, you got alien stuff, invasion, and all this kind of craziness. Why not? Uh, there was an article right here that Sam Altman and another guy they already considered that New Zealand is an optimal place that they want to go with an apocalypse event. And they're saying that he recently in reinstalled, the recently installed OpenAI Sam Altman has arranged with Peter Thiel to first reveal to the New Yorker where they will pair and they will take a jet on Thiel's New Zealand properties in case of an apocalypse event. They already got plans for extra strategy. They have a jet on standby. They have a, a strategy to deal with in case there is some type of apocalyptic event. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that not as crazy as it come? That, but it's not crazy. It's the reality. Uh, it's definitely, and the evidence clearly shows that they're doing it, and there's something why they're doing this. Why are they doing this? Mark Zuckerberg has bought land in Hawaii and he's already building a freaking compound that a whole 30 and something, some people. So probably his immediate family and it has tunnels. It's underground. It's, uh, it's just built with the whole, they can stay there, you know, supposedly be able to design to, to produce his own water own plants now, Rick Ross said, hey, man, we got cans of food. We have everything. He was talking about this stuff. This is what I'm saying, and then we want to sit here in some days and, and say uh, it's some crazy stuff. But like I said, go over to the website. There's a coupon code called Bug Out where you can get 10% off either the simple one day, you got five days, and any of our truth seekers, listen to me and people who's watching this after this live, my first 10 people, you know, because I told a guy, put us together some special stuff. You're sitting on the site, real nice stuff. And our first 10 people is going to be some honorary people, and we're going to be talking about it and put you some honorary preppers ready for there. And it should be you. And go and get your bug out bag. I'm telling you, get it, support. It's not supporting the show, even though it would, but it's going to be ready for you because I'm telling you, it's nothing uh, is where you want to be in a situation where you, you know, you rather have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. That is a place. And I've been in a tornado, hit our house. We lost everything. And I'm telling you, I understand the purpose of the bug eye bag. I understand the purpose. And I sleep this way today. I have a pair of tennis shoes by my bed that I don't touch. They're sitting there. They stay there. Even when I'm visit, they stay there. Only in the event for what I've experienced. When that tornado hit and broke all the glasses in the entire home, glasses all on the floors, and everybody's hopping out of the bed, the kids, everyone, because you, you're afraid, you're trying to get to a point, everybody's feet was getting cut from glass. I'm telling you, it's a serious situation. Be prepared for all of this stuff. No joke. No joke. All right, so even saying that Jared Kushner, Tom Brady, Ivanka Trump, all these people have went out to Hawaii, all kinds of stuff. 
and they're buying different things and they're buying bunkers and they're going this. Now, Lonnie and I had a discussion today and we was talking about hollow earth and people were saying, is that it's the bunkers a attempt to combine, and we just kind of text this briefly, the new theory of combining both worlds, right? Possible. We're going to get in more detail about that. We're going to talk more about that. But how do you feel when you hear what is going on? And what do you think about? What, what are your thoughts? How, we, how do we uncover the real truth? Well, by talking about it. But I will say this, I am very concerned that when David Pilates did his, you know, 411, a UFO connection 411, and talked about all this stuff, and he just kind of said, I just want to bring some attention to the fact of this. And when he decided to bring some attention to the fact of those deer, and the aliens were out there trying, catching them, and obviously, probably looking for a cure. Probably was looking for a cure. I wouldn't doubt it. And I'm not saying that they had, but I will say the time bomb is ticking, my friends. It's ticking. I'm just saying it's a ticking. It's ticking, and it's time to question everything except nothing at face value because they're not buying the bunkers just because they got extra money. They can afford to buy it, but then if this zombie thing is real, and it may not really hit this year. It could be five years from now, but imagine it's highly contagious. It's highly contagious, and it, it, and it messes with your brain. It starts to eat up the brain. That's, that's zombie stuff. Now, I will say that our young generation is going to be prepared for it because they play these video games and they're in there just popping zombies every day. But people, there's going to be a lot of people who can't handle stuff like this when it comes out um, and not prepared to run across something or even, like I said, being able to just get off the grid for a day or two. Most people, you need about three days to get off the grid if you have to, you know. And, and so we're going to be talking more about prepping for everything in our community because why? We want to be ready. We want to be ready. And ask yourself right now, if something was to happen, if an apocalypse did happen with these zombies, and okay, we ain't got no bunker, but do you got anything to defend yourself? If you have to leave right now for two or three days, just pack up and grab your stuff and run right now, what would you do? Now, I've told all my children, my two, they bug out bags. They got a debit card. The one, you know, preload to keep in there. It's got a few hundred bucks on it and some cash in the bug out bag. It stays there. Because if you need to go, you go. And the best part is two-way radios and other stuff because, you know, when that tornado hit in the neighborhood, nobody's cell phones worked because the cell towers was, was messed up from the tornadoes. So that's why you see these people I talk with, their bug out bags got freaking two-way radios and all of that. And remember I mentioned before, if you don't have a plan with your family, most people think, okay, I got kids, all right, if something hit, I'm going to go up to the school and get them. What if that's not it? What if something happened? Do you have a meeting place where you tell your children, y'all make sure y'all go here, here? Yeah, it's real. And I say this is real because... I had a scenario that, and I'll get back on point, that really, I think, helped my daughter. When, when my ex-wife or the ex-wife with her new husband was married, they used to argue all the time. One day it was his responsibility to pick up our kid from school. Because he was mad at the mom, he didn't do it. So she stayed at the school. She did what I told her to do, stay at a place, blah, blah, blah. When a teacher came back or a teacher came back to the school around 8 p.m., my daughter was still on the front porch sitting because she knew no matter what, you know, this is the place where I know I have to sit or whatever. But had that hadn't happened, she could have been all over the place in the neighborhood somewhere wondering or whatever. That's just, I'm just giving you my experiences and all that. So let me get out of that. But anyway, what I'm saying is this, because I know you didn't come to hear that. You come to hear what we're talking about. Let's tie in the fact that 
there's always an undercurrent that something is on the horizon, especially in the UFO community. We People have been talking about it all the time. There's something coming. There could be whatever. But does that have anything to do with the fact? People, here's a picture of a bunker. Look at the door. King Kong can't get in that thing. Look at the door just to go in there. It's ridiculous. But people are trying to put those things together. And the question is, why? Well, if you saw something like this, you'll ask yourself why. That ain't no joke, people. That, that, that was a diseased deer. That de- deer had the zombie disease. And imagine that gets over into humans and something crazy, and all of a sudden <laughs> we got people running around like that. Get your zombie gear. Get your gear. I'm going to just leave it up there for a little while while we talk. But there is 15% off of it. You put in the code ready, you good. If you want a bug out bag, put bug out, you're going to get 10% off on the bag. But you got to get you something. If you ain't got nothing, you better get you something and be prepared. That's all you have to do. That's all the whole point is being prepared for everything, for anything. You have to be. Preparedness.life.com. I'm telling you. I'm I'm telling you. I'm going to be harping on this all year long because I'm getting the conversations, and it's, it's crazy conversations, and I don't know why. But I tell you what, if something like that is out, and, and like I say, Nicole says she sees them all the time. If something like that is out there crazy happening, you bet, you know, you better believe it. You better believe it. And I don't know, Rita is in there talking about poor deer. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying poor deer. I'm saying old deer. Make sure that don't get over to us. The signs of all around us, people. You know, if we dare to open our eyes to it, that there are bigger things that are happening, you know, the signs are everywhere. And the evidence clearly show that it's there. They just don't put it in mainstream media because they don't want us to know. They're, they're hiding it. That's pretty crazy from there. They're hiding the truth. And it's out there. But why is it whispers in those elite communities and they're preparing, but for the masses or ourselves, we don't hear anything about it. So the question, once again, is you need to ask yourself, and you do the research. Find out all of these people buying these bunkers, and then find out all these companies that are converting military missile silos, and then all of this other stuff that you hear in the wind that's possible. Why would anybody want to get off the planet, or why would all of this stuff, and they're building these things for their families and everything else, and nobody's really paying attention to what's going on. It's, and, and why? And like I said, if you got people around you that you tell them about, you know, zombie deer or bunkers and they laugh, I'm telling you. I'm not saying that you should just leave them alone. I'm saying you got a problem. You have a problem. You, you, you have a problem. Because obviously the world to these people is actually black and white and they don't see shades of gray. And that gray is where these other people are moving in the middle and they're preparing themselves and they're getting ready and they're in, 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 in they're prepared. They're preparing. Now, like I said, I'm buying a bunker in three years. I'm single. That's what I was going to say. So that's going to be my line. You know, there are going to be some women going to be, yeah, I want a man with a six-pack. I'm going to be like, hey, babe, but I got a fucking bunker. Ha, how's that for security? Huh? I got a bunker. Well, I got, I mean, yeah, okay, but I got cans of food that'll last us for some years, baby. And when those zombies come, <laughs> I'm going underground. You and that dude, y'all can do what you're going to do. I'm preparing. All right, so what? What if? It doesn't happen for another 15 years. 
Well, in 15 years, you're going to be good to go, baby. But these people building now and they're doing it in a hurry. Now, once again, Jay-Z and them thought about it. They said, we're just going to buy our shit. Other people building it because it maybe it takes some years. But they like, let's buy one that somebody already had for a reason. And nobody's talking about that question. Nobody wants to, to really understand what's going on there. But I will say that it's a lot of other people doing it uh, for a lot of reasons. And I want to know the truth. You know, when I was looking at it, this guy is building his thing in Hawaii. And he said he's spending $100 million. So some of these bunkers, if you see some of the bunkers that they're selling for $2 million, you know, that you can stay in a community, that's okay. So think about it. Look at this community. This community, he says, this bunker is 13 floors. Now, is the penthouse on the top or is the penthouse on the bottom? But they got swimming pool. They have everything. Now, this is one missile silo. So imagine him having 20 of these things and he's selling them. And they're going to pay maintenance on them for year round. Yeah. They're going to pay. They're going to pay money and, and put those things anywhere that they want. Why shouldn't we get in on that? Why, why don't we start our own collective community and we buy some ourselves someday or build them? Whatever. But I do know that, it's, that they're doing it and it's something that is happening out there. And, and, and that's no joke. And are we ready for that? So I was just showing you all those things just to kind of get you, get you buzzed a little bit. But I'm saying on the right, you have zombie deer. On the middle, you have skeptics. On the left side, there is a movement. There is a movement happening. Now, do we need to believe in the movement or do we want to wait? Do we move when we see the smoke or you want to move when the fire has come? Or do you want to move when you hear whispers that somebody's going to light the fire? When do you want to move? Either way, you're going to move. It's just where you are in the process. And this is what I'm interested in because it ties into our whole thing. The aliens are out there trying to stop it, is what David Pilates kind of point out. Go watch the thing. He talks about it. And this is three years old. And he was talking about it, saying it was one of the best, not best, but one of the kept secrets. And news are talking about it now. Articles are coming up on it slowly but surely. Now, they're still saying they have not gotten any human cases yet, but we all know the humans are not in the woods, so they're not in contact with the deer, but the deer is in our food supply. The deer is in the food supply. You hear me? It's in the food supply. People are hunting deer. They're eating it. It's a matter of time. And, and what's really grappling about this is the fact that they said that when it hits these deers, it takes a couple of years before it progresses to a point. So that means you can get a deer and you're eating on it and you have no clue just because it didn't show signs of it the day you knocked it out and got it. But it doesn't mean that the, it's not there. All right. We got to be ready for everything. At least we're talking about it. At least we're having conversations. And, and we can put it out there. If you find any value tonight, please support the show. There is our cash app at the bottom there. Dollar sign, why the big secret? Any of your contributions. If you find any value tonight, that's fine. But if that's not it, man, get, go to preparednesslife.com. Support the, our community. Support our community. But I will say these bags are more tactical bags and they got everything in it from different levels. You got stuff from one person, two person, then they got what they call the MOAB, the mother of all bags, where you can take this thing and you can be out for weeks. And if it's you by yourself, months. I'm talking off the grid, tents, you know, you know, uh, 
night vision goggles, all stuff was in this stuff and some of these things. It's serious. It's serious. Oh, you pray that you never need it. That's your prayer. But you're going to really be bombed if what these people are preparing for, we are not even acknowledging it. Obviously, you don't see Jay-Z saying, I'm building one. You don't see all of these, you know, you know, Oprah and all these people saying it. But Rick Ross, yeah, he's still a street hustler. He, he, he said, hey, guys, this is how we doing it. Rick Ross is not playing. He ain't playing with this thing. He ain't playing with it at all. And so I'm really, really saying to you that it's important. All right. And it's really important. Thank you, Faye. Appreciate it. Yeah. So I'm saying to you, it's as real as it gets because it's important. This stuff happens and is going on. So do you have a question for that? Do you want to say, why would people spend this? Now, okay, so let's, let's get into the other part of aliens and, and extraterrestrials and, and everything else. Let's get into what could be happening there when it comes down to, um, you know, I don't know. The possibility. Now, I know we got almost 100 people here, and sometimes we have more. We should have a lot of people here tonight, but maybe, yeah, I, okay, I'll put the, the, the thing up about the deer. I may change the, 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 the graphic, but I am trying to sound the alarm for you to be ready for everything and, and pretty much. And it is tied to the whole alien thing, so we're not off point here. Because if there were coming and there's always saying something big is coming, then where are you going to go? What are you going to do? And you're going to laugh at this, but I want to say this because what if you cannot go down the route, and, and I'm going to put this on the screen, this, this, this bag over here, over here, these are ex-military people that I know that are working with with this. That is a alien hunter bag. Yeah, you heard me. Hunter. What on earth? Why would we be preparing for something like that? Because they already know. Not that we're protecting. We need to get them. And it's still got all your preparedness stuff, but it's got special stuff in there. Did I order one? You got damn right I did. I told the man, send me that one. I'm in the game. I know it's real. I know they're there. The zombie stuff, yeah. I know they're there. You know, I, I, I ain't got time to be playing around, you know. But when they put stuff like this and, it, and they're putting it out there and it's out of our reach to purchase and buy because it's even not out of our ecosystem, it's out of our lives, it's out of our daily conversation, but then you next to somebody and they wipe out their, their alien hunter bag or their zombie kid or their bug out and you're sitting there going, oh, Lord, what do I do? See, I was here in Texas. I'm, I live in Texas. And the reason I had live stream all week is because we've had some freeze and it got so freeze. The Internet was down. The, 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 the heater systems wasn't acting right here at the studio. Yeah. If I had been talking, you've been saying like everywhere. But here's something that else happened. That day before when everybody knew the freeze was coming, all the shelves in the stores were empty. I got nervous because, you know, I helped with my mom and I was like, man, I didn't go to the store. And I forgot what the hell I'm talking about. I keep these bags there. I got the big jumbo bags in here. I got food, water for days. You know, all kinds of stuff. I'm like, dude, you, what the hell are you worried about? Candles and, you know, tent, heat, pads. I got everything in this thing. Everything you could think of. Power out, I can light it up. Flat, everything is in these things. And the other ones have got to have more. So, but that's me. That's not everybody. Everybody's not going to be prepared for stuff. 
people I'm saying, and I'm just on a rant right now, but I, I'm in it. So if you didn't know, let me just put this up here so you know. I, 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 I'm on TV. I got TV credit. I've been on Gaia, you know, several. I'm a Gaia band ambassador, by the way, for the network. I am a brand ambassador for the network. For Forbidden Knowledge, I'm a brand ambassador for the network. Ancient Aliens, I was featured in a segment there, quick. Fox Tubi, Amazon. I'm in a couple of movies on Amazon for Bigfoot. And, and by the way, they put together a Sasquatch bag for Bigfoot. And it's got tools in there to go out and look for Bigfoot. It's a bug out bag, but it has Sasquatch stuff in it. It's all on the website, preparednesslife.com. This is no joke. Believe me. And if you want a discount, ready is for the bigger bag stuff. And then bug out for any of bug out bags under the emergency kit. Put the word bug out and you get a 10% discount. Ready to give you a 15% discount. And I'm saying this because I've been on TV with this stuff. I'm, I, there's a lot of channels out here with some great information. I'm in the loop. I have ex-NSA people in our circle. People who work with ATIP in our circle. Project Black has brought a lot of alliance people together and behind the scenes. And the conversations I deal with now will freak you out. It will freak you out. I'm almost sometimes going, I wish I did know all of this stuff. Nah, <laughs> I don't believe, I, I, I'm not going to roll with that. I do. I'm glad I know. But some stuff is a bit of a pill to swallow, you know, when you, because it's almost comical, but it has its reality when it comes down to, what we're dealing with out here. And there's a lot of people living in a world where they don't even believe that there's life outside the planet. Imagine life inside the planet. Imagine life in other dimensions. Imagine mermaids. Imagine life after death. Imagine, you know, underground civilizations. Imagine being abducted. Imagine, imagine hybrids walking among us. You get where I'm going with this? This is the world that I'm in. It's the world that you're in because it's real reality. And what's so challenging is that every day they're starting to put more of this out there slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Now, I talked about the Jesus factor in one of the other videos. Go back. I'm showing you all the paintings and when when he was here and and how could it be? How could he possibly exist it? And all of these ancient paintings with UFOs around his pictures before all of this biblical Bible stuff, right? They don't just make this stuff up. They don't make it up. They just don't make it up. Obviously, somebody had seen it, right? But now that we are into a point to where we got disclosure, and they're working on telling us, and as much as everybody understands, we got alien crap. I think people are pretty satisfied with that by now. That they're just going to tell us that they got you know alien crap. We're we're satisfied with that. But if you want to peel back the layers and start talking about zombie deer, a possible apocalypse invasions, and people preparing and all of this stuff, that's a different story, people. Now, you can buy bunkers 200,000. I saw that in Colorado, little smaller missile silos. Why not? Get one. Get one. Not just for bragging rights, but I promise you, if there was a situation happen and people know where your bunker is, ooh, we, when you try to get there to get in it, what's going to happen? It's going to be a run on them. So tell no one. Tell no one. Leave it in a safe deposit or in the slips and, and, and whatever. Only your family closest know where the location of the bunker. You don't want everybody to know I got a bunker in, in Dallas over here and blah, blah, blah. Do you? Well, you can tell them. But when some sugar honey iced tea hit the fan, <laughs> shit, everybody's going to be trying to get to your shit. Or sugar honey iced tea. And they're going to be doing it. I'm just saying. All right, so put in the chat right now. I just want to know. And don't lie to yourselves. Don't lie. Let's give a shout out to, he said, hey, boss, I just got checked in. You were talking about zombies and, yeah. 
or is this very extraterrestrial origin? I don't know, uh, my man. I don't know. All I know is David Pilates talked about it in the past that the ETs had an interest in it. And then we talk about galactic federations on other conversations that they're here to protect us. Maybe there they are. But what we do know is, just like anything else from all other viruses and different things, it's a possibility it jumps. And if it jumps, then it gets into human population. Houston, we got a problem, a fucking big problem. So that's the only thing I can say when it comes to that uh, as well. All right, I'm going back over here. Y'all give a shout out to Duran. He said, could aliens behind the deer disease Enlil did similar things to keep the people in line. The ancestors told us about. No, I, I wouldn't go that far because they wouldn't be trying to solve it uh, as something. And, and if they are the creators, they will be concerned of an outlier within their creations. So I wouldn't look at it and say that they are doing that. I'm, I won't go as far to say they are, you know, trying to put it out there because they got many other things bigger than that. But I will say that there is something more to it that we have to think about when it comes down to it. So my question for any of you right now, truth of honesty, do you have a three, one day, a 24 hour bug out plan right now? I'm not saying, Oh yeah, I'm gonna go. No, we talking. If you had to get off the fucking grid where nobody knew where you were, you went and got a hotel room and you couldn't come outside. You just wanted to hide or maybe you're going out in the woods with a tent. Put a yes if you have a bug out, seriously put together plan of action bag. And if you don't, say no. And I'll ask you why together. And I know we ain't going to get a lot of spirit and honesty with it because I used to do this all the time when I go to people's houses. I've said it before. I was, I was doing prep work for homes and all this stuff for seriousness just six, seven years ago before I even got, see, the universe knew I was coming into this. And, and I wasn't too successful because I couldn't get people in to talk about it. And all of a sudden, I was doubling back recently, and I went through all of my files, and I had a big thing of everything. And I was like, dude, you were already prepared for the day. You already had it. You got, your, you got everything. You got your, this is it, and you in the know. All right, so we got a bunch of no's, a couple of yes. And I, don't get me wrong. I don't believe everybody will be honest to say no if there's no. There are some yes that's going to come across the screen. You know damn well I'm talking preparation type shit. I'm not talking, you know, do I got a bag with some clothes in it? Because that's not going to be food rations. I'm talking water purifier. I'm, I'm talking... I'm just going to whip some shit out of here. I'm talking sophisticated water. I'm talking water tablets that you can stick in some muddy water and drink it. I'm talking in most new bug out bags, there are straws that you can put something in and it could be muddy water, but when it come on the other end, it's pure. I'm talking thermo tents. If you are out there right now and as cold as it is, this little thin thing is a emergency thermo sleeping bag. It takes your body heat and, and create heat. I'm not saying you just got a couple of stuff. Man, I can dig around in here and shock you. Shovels and all kind of miniature stuff in here. You know, yeah. I'm saying if you ready for that. No, I'm not. You know, and don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to press the fact that we're out of here. I'm saying preparation for whatever comes. You, you get what I'm saying? I'm not, and believe me, I'm not trying to fear, put fear out there to you. So, oh, the, they're on their way, be ready. I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about regardless in everyday life scenario and anything else. Tornadoes, floods, all that, Katrina, that shit is real. It happens all the time. I was in a, I, I can't get nobody to tell me nothing different. I was in a tornado. Living proof, that thing is no joke. And when it was over, everybody needed everything. First aid, you name it. So when I got rich people, 
because they can, buying bunkers and in ugly houses, but they're paying $200 million for it? I'm not telling you that this is the most beautiful house in the world that uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z bought. They, they, it's a good-looking crib, but look at that. $200 million is what's underneath is what they bought. Or well, still got a little positions in Irvine, California. But they got plenty of houses. For crying out loud, they can go buy a castle if they wanted to. They could buy an enchanted island if they wanted to, if they hadn't done it already. But they went and bought a bunker because they could, and somebody told them to. And Mark Zuckerberg is building a compound. See, he's building a compound community. They paid two, uh, they paid a couple hundred million for theirs, I think. He's spending a couple hundred, he's building a compound. Some of these people, are, yeah, you buying these condos for, uh, you know, two point some million. These dudes are buying freaking, <laughs> you know, he's building a compound. And all I just want to know is, are we doing it? And so put your research hat on, you know, just put your research hat on. That's all I'm saying. Go out and do it. It's time that we want to thoroughly question these narratives that's out there. It's time. So go look up. We're going to put your research hat and go look up the zombie deer stuff. How long it's been going around? What's the possibilities? What's the threat level? And then ask yourself, if it did jump into humans, what do we do? Are you prepared? If somebody jumps up, all of a sudden go bananas. All right, okay, yeah, you can use some stuff. I'm not saying it, but I'm just saying there's a lot of things that we don't know and pretty much. And that concerns me when I'm trying to figure out why they're buying these bunkers. And that's what we need to focus on. So we can focus on what's happening with the deer. That's no joke. We can focus on this zombie deer. And if you just joined us, let me tickle you a little bit and show you another clip. I know a lot of you are going to be saying, poor deer, poor deer. Yeah, poor if that bad boy jumps and whatever he got jumps into the car and then it gets anywhere else. Yeah, it's, it's going to be crazy. It's really crazy. So what do you do? What do you think about? What do you want to know? So we're talking aliens. We're talking zombie deer, we're talking bunkers, and we're talking preparation and people being prepared for something. Stephen Gurr said it, hey, something is coming. It's always, that always been an undertalk in the ufology community, by the way, if you haven't been paying attention. Something is coming has been there. Right out of shadow of a doubt. Y'all give a shout out here. He said, hey, no worries. I saw the thumbnails. I was like, oh, great, zombies. I heard former military personnel claim to have encountered supernatural moments in both Afghanistan and Iraq, such as werewolves and even zombies. There you go. I'm telling you, the people that help put these freaking fucking bags together that I'm talking with, they ex-military people. And he said, Roderick, this is real. This is in the elite communities. And I'm sitting here going, oh, really? Look at this. Look what's inside this thing. Look at the knives and hatchets and other stuff. This is, that's military grade stuff. And they put this together. Oh, they got the SOS kit in case you get bit too. This is military. <laughs> I was floored. I was like, dude, what the heck is this stuff? And I said, well, let me get a bag right now. He was like, no, this is just a sample. I just want you to know. We're doing it. And I said, look, I'm changing because, you know, my website's been up. I sell them. I'm like, no, I need to put this stuff in here for my community. Hopefully they can put it together. And, and all right, let me give them a discount because they can 
get a couple hundred dollars off that bad boy. Who cares? Go there, preparednesslife.com. Code ready, and you'll get 15% off any of those bags. But this stuff is true. But I guarantee you, you can sit down with somebody and they're going to laugh at you. They're going to be laughing like, man, you don't need that. You don't need none of that stuff. Oh, I got my nine millimeter. Come on, man. Whatever. Run out of that. You got to learn. You got to get with hand-to-hand combat these days. I, we got to go back to the basics. I was watching a, a show with a uh, or a video where the Chinese people was teaching these young little girls. They was having these hitting this kicking stuff. I mean, hand-to-hand combat. They ain't sitting there, yeah, you got a few shots, but you ain't going to do that when it's 30 of them and you got eight in your clip. Yeah, you better take that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And yeah, yeah, if it's necessary. I know. Some of y'all going to be like, Roderick, you just saying. No, I'm not just saying some stuff. But I'm saying there's enough of you who don't have bug outs, kits, or prepare for any type of scenario. And, and we're not talking about money scenario. I'm not talking about, because money ain't going to be valuable. You know that, right? In a scenario like that, people ain't going to be worried about if you got $20,000 cash in a, in a situation that money has no, no value. It really doesn't have anything now. But you better have some real physical stuff. Freaking duct tape? Duct tape is going to probably be worth a billion dollars in a situation like that. Wrap your tail up. I know. Y'all see that right there? I'm going to put it on screen. She says, Roderick, there are so many folks who watch too many movies and think they know how to survive. I guarantee you a lot of people don't. They can't even go out in the wilderness and light a match from a stone. And like I said, it's a different story. She she says, my son is trained. They up, uh, thigh boxing right there or whatever. All right. Y'all give a shout out. Me and the moon. Appreciate it right there. Appreciate it. But you, y'all get what I'm saying. It's what I'm talking about. So the aliens... So let let me just put it all back into some frame. The aliens in four years ago, David Pilates, and I'm just repeating because it's important, says that the aliens was out there picking up elk and deer. They got it. They the, the witnesses were saying that, but it was ones that had the zombie disease. So he gave them a good thing. Maybe they're out there trying to cure it. Four years ago, three years ago, we get articles. We're talking about it. Now they're surfacing even more only because the deer is spreading. Yes, it is spreading. And now you got people saying we're going to go underground. And they're not talking about a war. They're not talking about bunk because they're talking about flying to New Zealand. They're talking about flying to other countries to go into their bunkers. So that's not a war. That's something on the ground or whatever. But I'm talking in today's society because I saw this thing, and I don't want to be the first to mention it, but how many of you have seen that there's something else coming that's down there in the Miami area and all of this, and it's you know people getting water on their lungs, all kind of crap. Anybody seen that lately? All right, so what if there's a run on the stores again or run on supplies? Why? The bug out bags got the real mask in them. They all prepare for that stuff. They that stuff is in here, baby. It's ready. I mean, it's everything. It's crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. Look at this. This is in my bug out bag. I, I'm just opening. It is a water filtration system. It has a water filter. Let me open it right in front of you. I just seen it. Some stuff in there. I don't, look at it, just so much stuff. It's packed in here for everything that you're going to need. And uh, look at that. I bet yours ain't got no water per, per, uh, filtration system built in your water bottle. Man, this is, there ain't no cheap water bottle. It's got a purification, uh, uh, filtration system in it. 
Penn State is full of stuff. I laugh because it's it's comical, but I'm ready. Like I said, I got an auto, and then I, at home I got a real. Whew, and even though it's for family of four and it's just me and my mom, so that means we can last longer, you know, at this point. So it, there we go. What do y'all think, though? Somebody put in the chat why you think rich people are buying bunkers. Let's see what, let's see what y'all know. Let's, let's get some information from the audience. Why are rich people are buying bunkers? And once again, if you want to, it's Friday. My support, I'm able to do what I do because of how you support the show and everything else. And if you want to support the show and you find it in your heart, I'm, I'm right there. There is something on the screen there, or you can do the dollar sign at Why the Big Secret, or you can super chat. You can do whatever. And I'm still going to be here with you. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, there's a lot of stuff that happened. Yeah, you do a lot of stuff because they can. Yeah, um, I agree with you that anonymous. Yeah, that is because they can. Yeah, but there, there are some of them are very smart people. They, they use their money for a lot of other things. Okay, you got a little extra money around. Just have your bunker just in case. That's where we all got insurance. We all got insurance. He said, what is the link to purchase the bug out bags? Um, I'm going to put it on the screen for you, okay? Great question. One second. Um, right there. Oh, you can't see that shit. No problem. I get it. Great question. All right. So it's, prepared. it's right there in the corner, but it's preparednesslife.com. Uh, Nicole, if you can put it in the chat for me. But it's preparednesslife.com. There's a code bug out for 10% off, and then there's a code ready if you get one of the, the more percentage off. But, uh, yeah. So, Nicole, if you can put it in the chat, then I can put it on the screen. And, uh, yeah. Let me just look in here. Yeah. All right, so he says, one of the problems is that our egos could never allow itself to fathom in the idea that there may be an apex predator that is bigger and meaner and that human species, especially if it breaks the natural laws we establish. True, fucking true. True, fucking true. Yeah, that's true. All right, there it is right there. Nicole put it on the screen preparednesslife.com. Everything's there ready for you to purchase and ship out in a few days. Get it. You won't be disappointed. Like I said, uh, everything is just bag related there, different price structures. Get in where you fit in. That's best for you and your family and for your needs. Um, but if you can, there are the mother of all bags. That's the one I'm saving for because that one right there, then I know we're taking care of got enough food for everybody for a while everything tents sleeping bags shit knives gps satellites in them bad boys walkie talkies these people got real night vision gargles and shit all this stuff is in some of these bags different ones but yeah it ain't no joke it ain't no joke people yeah as real as it get as real as it get. So the question is, what are we ready for and how are we doing this? And why are they doing it? Now, once again, we yeah, we're going to keep you informed. You're going to come here and get information. We're going to get ground level information. If you want to hear about the latest ray gun and all of there's a lot of people out there that you can go and watch. They're going to tell you what they found out that the government has a you know, rail gun that'll go through walls. If that can concern you, that's fine. But when I tell you about stuff that's happening on the ground right beneath our faces and, and give you the evidence that clearly shows some of this stuff is going on, then you know you're in the right place. You need to share. We should be sharing all of my videos by now. I know I could be one of the best kept secrets. 
We should be sharing it right now. I've been looking at all these other people talking. That's fine. Yeah, they, they, yeah, I can interview everybody all week long for you, and I do have some great ones coming up. But I think you will be better served knowing and being prepared for what's happening, knowing about stuff in the past that was big when it happened, but less talked about today. You know, that's why you hear me talk about some of these old UFO or alien stuff, because if it happened in the past, it's possible for the future. And when it was big in the past, some of you young enough, you don't know. You don't hear about none of this stuff. You're too young to know. It's okay. You ain't bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you're too young and not to understand. You're too young not to be ready. Shit. That's what I would tell you. Yeah. All right, so, Kim, if you give me an explanation, you, you've been typing twice. We're not dying. So what are you trying to say and what, if that will help? And I'll bring it into the conversation. But you've said it enough, so I want to make sure that we give you some explanation. So type it out a little more for me, okay? Thank you, love. So the whole point I'm saying is, is for people to, to understand that, all right, we talk about you know hybrids, we talk about aliens abducting people, all of this stuff, we talk about it. We talk about it all the time. You know, and it doesn't mean that things are not going on, you know, from that standpoint. Give a shout out. I said, love the show. Keep trying to get those minds open and alert. It's hard, man. Let me tell you something. It's real hard when people are stuck. But I will tell you this, uh, Deadpool kid, and you know as well as I know, the mind, y'all listen to me, the mind is like a parachute. Y'all hear me? It works best when it's open. That's why I always say your eyes are useless when your mind is blind. It's got nothing to do with your eyes. If your mind is blind, I don't give a fuck what you see. You're not, you're not gonna, it's not going to matter to you. It's not going to register to you. You could be staring at something right in your face. And if your mind is not open to the obvious of that scenario, you're not going to go for that. You're not going to understand it. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're just not going to understand it. Coffee and tea said, I'm planning to start preparing. Why not? All right, so most of us are being told to prepare for Death with insurance or, you know, funeral, burial ground, all this is preparing stuff, but we're not going to prepare something else. Something goes down. And, and we now let me say this for right now. True. And, and y'all can ask me when that thing hit a couple of years ago, how many of you went to the grocery stores or and the summit of shelves was empty? And what if it was a more severe scenario and you needed to have something to do for a few days? That was real life. All right, and you may be in a position, whoever who's trying to say, okay, Rob, blah, 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 but you made a position that you were okay, but there was a lot of people who wasn't. There was a lot of people who wasn't, and it's okay if you want to feed them knocking at your door, but you don't want to feed some people knocking at your door with weapons taking everything you got because there's a phantom sometime going on. Yeah, this is crazy stuff. And all I'm saying is, I just want to know why these people are now building bunkers. What do they know that we don't know? Yeah, like you said, no essentials, no food. Let me put it on the screen. This was a real-life scenario. So if you got people around you that tell you don't be ready or, or Roderick is spoken, you know, putting fear out there or whatever, I'm telling you now, get rid of them. Get away from them fast because... You don't want to be the one who's not ready. And that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying the world is coming to an end, or, but they're, they're calling them doomsday, you know, places. Why do they use so much a, 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 cra a, a powerful word? Somebody said, I don't see the bags on the site. Which site are you looking at, C. Gray? What site are you looking at? Yeah. 
website. Uh, let me see here. One second, y'all. All right, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can share a screen. There we go. It'll allow me to do that. Okay. All right, so. Uh, There we go. And and let me let me move this a little more. There we go. All right, so there it is on the screen. Let me stop the uh banners. All right, so there there it is on the screen. And uh if you go to at the top you go to specialty bugs, bags, and you click it. There you go. You'll see all the different ones, the Sasquatch bag, the zombie bags. You'll see the, uh, you know, bug out bags, your emergency kits. Yeah, they all there. And, uh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, they, they're all there. So, hopefully... Uh, you get to see them where we're going with that. All right, so. All right, so let me put it up. Kim did an explanation. She said, since I was a child, I was always told by the media that the end of times was coming. It was, it was always that gave me fear and caused anxiety. I was a mess. If you look at life, it has <laughs> fucked you up in sight. Okay, I get what you're saying. And, and and let me let me clarify that. Thank you for giving me your output. I'm not trying to say the end of days is coming. You'll never hear me using that. Even though the elite, Kim, are using terms of doomsday bunkers. They didn't use the word end of days. Doomsday means something big is going to happen. There's going to be a change of lifestyle for a lot of people, and you want to be prepared for it. And, and when I... Talk about preparedness. That's what I be speaking about. So no, we're. I'm not saying people not die, but I do not want you to not heed warnings and everything else to be prepared for what could possibly happen. You know, this stuff has shelf life of years and different stuff and everything else. So it could be passed on to people. You're talking about your children and all of this stuff. But we've seen it in real time, the possibility of chaos when people are now taking a run on everything or different stuff. We've seen it. And so if you're going to have to isolate, see, bug out bags is for isolation and quickness or if you had to go. So if you had to leave your domicile, you know, and get out somewhere and you were stuck somewhere or whatever, you can survive. Most people can't survive outside of their house and they're not prepared for that. And that's the problem that we're in. We're not prepared for anything outside of our apartments, our homes, or everything else. But, you know, when that stuff happens, it happens. And, and so from there, C-Grade, did you let me know that you went to the website and you were able to find or look and see. I, I need to know that. So I, I need to know that you were able to see some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 that's fine. I'm not saying human civilization is not going to survive. I'm not saying that some people are not going to be safe for something. But I promise you right now, if, you know, and like I said, anyone who, my first 10 people that do buy any bag, I don't care what it is, you're going to be the honorary people for our whole month going into February when we're going to really be talking about preparing this month and every, a lot of stuff. So your name is going to be blasted everywhere. 
I'm going to let people know you're the one. So if it's something you need, want, please go ahead and, and do it. And then so I can really talk about you in a great way. And use the coupon uh, code bug out for the bug out bags under emergency kit and any other specialty bag for 15% off. We're talking hundreds of dollars. Use the man deep pool, Deadpool. Listen, I appreciate you supporting it, the show tonight. So he says, one of the things that bothers me most is that there's a recorded documentation, even in the 1800s, about supernatural, extranet, extraterrestrial encounters, and people are still saying either it's probably a hoax or a joke. See, this is what I was talking about. See, when last video, when I did the, the, the Aliens with Jesus, if y'all remember, I'm showing photographs of shit that was back in the 1400s that how could it even be possible that they would have a picture of Jesus and at the same time extraterrestrial aliens in the sky if there was no connection? They painted what they saw or the stories that was passed down, whatever. So like he's saying is, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that happened back then, but they're, are not, they're not doing this the right way, right? They're not. They're, and people are, 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 you know, just thinking it doesn't get, exist. Yeah. And so she says, why do we have to encourage folks to go touch grass and know some survival techniques? We could do that. But I'm going to use it for courtship. I'm going to be telling women, you know. I saw this video. What is this tiny girl? They showed her, she took a shovel, and y'all probably seen it. She dug up on the side of the dirt. She dug a hole into the ground, kept going all the way underground. She sculpted it, made it into a domicile. She cooked steak down there and everything else. She tied it, put the door, made a chimney so she can burn some stuff, and went underground, baby. I was like, that's my kind of girl right there. That's my girl right there. She is. She got a bigger, big enough hole for me to get in, but she she could do it though. It was like this, but she could she could expand the doorway. She said, get me in, baby. You know what I'm saying? We got to start looking at some efficient stuff. I get it. We got a man that's, you know, and I'm not saying he can be cute and efficient too. He can be tarzan like a motherfucker. Let him be. But that's what's gonna come in handy. You know, dude that can, you know, jump down on a zebra and, and get you some food. Now I pull up at McDonald's. Can he catch a zebra? Or some rabbits or something. <laughs> yeah, it was in the yellow book. A lot of this stuff is in the yellow book. And a lot of you have been uh, cash app and getting the yellow book, the RH negative. You guys are getting some great information. So, but yeah, this stuff is real out there. And it makes you wonder what is going on. So what you have to think about, and we all need to wake up to the fact that regardless, we don't know what the plan is and what they're up to behind our backs. We're now I hear more stuff than most of you, many, and some stuff I do not tell. Now our inner circle, Nicole and Lonnie, a lot of us, they they privileged to some of that stuff. Our researchers, you know, could I why not? They they're right there. And and I have been trying to pick a better place to that we can talk about this stuff and and everything else. And if I can do it in real time, there you know what? There is a way to do live streams members only in which you can say some stuff that YouTube won't hit you hard because it's not on the public forum. And we might have to do that one day. Uh, so we can really go. You can really hear some, some stuff. At least get you something to think about it. Yeah, you got to know how to fish. And don't think you're just going to jump in there like a bear and catch one, a Simon or something. You know? All right, well, she's saying the fish can have it. Well, if fish can have it, then it's already jumped from deer and going into the aqua phase, and this is a hell of a virus that can live, you know, within underwater. This is a real true threat, threat at some point. And I went, because I think it has a, a digestation period of, of a year or so, you know, maybe it's something that, they can catch and, and eliminate over time. But if it happens faster, I guess they can catch it and try to get it down. It's something out there and you wake up six months later, 20 people, you know, done it. I don't know. 
Hell, I'm 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 waiting on whoever the first person. Well, I know we're in the show, but if you get your your thing, your bug out, I'm gonna shout you out. I'm gonna shout you out. That's for damn sure. But when I, all right, so zombie deer, and maybe I'll change the thumbnail for future. You know, why are the rich people buying bunkers? And maybe it ain't got nothing to do. Uh, but does it? Is it close to related to? And tell me in the chat if you have not heard about the zombie deer before tonight. Yeah. There you go. By the way, read that on top. So tell me before tonight if you in the chat have not heard about the zombie deer before tonight. If it's something new to you, I want to know. All right, Nama says never heard it, okay? Haven't. I haven't. All right. See, I knew it was something that we need to talk about. Because you're not going to hear it everywhere. Well, Deadpool Kid, that is one of the biggest things I think people are not focusing on. They do have a depopulation plan out there. But I think they're going to reverse it a little bit. All right. So that gives me a reason why we don't have 200 people in here. Because a lot of people haven't heard of it. And they don't really know it exists. I get it. I get it. And so maybe the, the, the video headline and the tag in the thumbnail may not attract enough people like it's supposed to. And, and maybe it won't. But it should. It should attract them the way they need to because it is time. And I'm telling you, experts widely agree that there is a problem in the deer population with this thing. They do. And you got to ask yourself, have you considered the possibility of it mutating, jumping into humans? And and they saying, okay, there's a lot of, there's some articles recently going to say, well, they haven't, got any uh, stories of it going over. But what if the opposite was true and they're just not telling us like everything else? We at least need to know. We need to know. So we got all kinds of stuff going on. We got a lot of stuff. Yeah. And, then, and, and let me say something to y'all. I'm excited, okay? As you know, Tuesday night, I put up some of these same videos over at Forbid Knowledge. We got our last three shows getting 100,000 views, 80,000, 50,000 views, and over here we get a couple of thousand. I've realized that a lot of people just don't know I'm here and that this channel will blow and get bigger and bigger, motivate better content and other stuff. I don't know how. You know, but I do see a lot of other people sharing people's content, getting people. I don't know. But the first time I do figure this shit out, you know, I just want people to come hear a little bit what we're talking about. Understand that we hit things from a ground level. We I, we do some real talk here for this high strangeness stuff. You know, I call it infotainment because I want to entertain you the best way, but inform you simultaneously going down that same road. So, yeah, I want to talk about these rich folks got money with bunkers, but I also want to inform you that they could be doing it because there's some fucking disease deer running around. And they know something we don't know. They know something that we don't know. Now, I got a little bit of information, stuff that I won't put out on the airways, but I'm telling you enough to know. Or go read up on it. Go educate yourself up on this situation and then share it with somebody else. Know that it's widespread and that this was a conversation that started years ago and now it is spreading, you know. So why is that? Why is that? Y'all give a shout out to Coffee, Tea, and Labrish. She said Elon Musk has a contract with NASA through SpaceX and they have inside knowledge, and all these people meet yearly to discuss the events. Robert, we first connected on Clubhouse, and I've been watching. We have. Well, thank you. All of my Clubhouse people, you know, Diana, Nicole. Yeah. Thank you for uh, being here. 
Matter of fact, I, I might want to do a thing with all of my Clubhouse folks. Anybody who've met me on Clubhouse, and I'm send me an email, contact at whythebigsecret.com. That's the email address. The word contact, C-O-N-T-A-C-T. Yeah. And hit me up. Yeah. Because I'm thinking about, you know, I still got all those thousands of people over We may do something on there. Me and the moon says, thank you, coffee. Yes. Yes, I'm saying. And, Kim, I'm with you. That's why I keep putting emphasis a little bit on what you say. She says, what happened about being in the moment? I am in the present moment. And the present moment is that these rich folks are buying bunkers, talking about doomsday, and they're everywhere. Maybe it's a fad. Maybe it's not. But had I not have contact with some of the people that I have contact with that are telling me that they are selling out on these freaking bags and different stuff that I'm trying to tell my community about, and maybe not one of you get one. So what? Hopefully, I, I just did my job. I told you, and I gave you a discount so you don't even have to go and pay more money. I don't know how to do better than that. But, you know, but, you know, Kim, it's, it's one of those things that we just have to look at, dear. But I'm with you. Everything you said is correct. We have to live in a moment. We have to not live in fear, uh, but that does not keep us uh, from prepared. You know, and, and it's one of those things that Lou Elizondo talks about. He talks about the muddy, the muddy blue, uh, boot print theory when it comes down to these aliens and why so many people are not wanting us to have a threat narrative that that's possible. But he's saying is if you have something in there, then in that you have to, uh, you know, if you have something in there, you have to, Understand, and the mother boot print theory is if something you wake up in the morning and all your alarms in your house is active, but yet you see muddy boot print then walk through your living room out the front door, but yet your alarms are active, shouldn't you not be prepared? And that's the part I want our military to do. I want our military. I want them on the wall. I want they ask to be ready. I want them to build the weapons that'll knock something out of the sky, a BB, hit a BB in the dark. I want them to be able to have a missile that'll, un, 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 you know, outrun the wind. I want something that'll track something in the sky that can go from over here to over here in 0.2 seconds. Yeah, that's stuff flying around in our sky that can accelerate in one to two seconds, 60, 70 miles. We have nothing to do that. And if the technology is out there and it's not ours and it's, not, it's otherworldly, we have to be prepared. In fact, I have a show that I'm working on that I've been, and I may do it Monday or I may do a pre-recorded video, but it's all of these weapons that our government has already built. Something called Joshua, something, you know, there's all these different weapons. They was doing this in the 60s and 70s preparing for alien tech behind the scenes and they've been doing this stuff. Yeah. They've been preparing for alien tech and it's crazy. There you go. That's going to be contact at why the big Of course, you know that. All right. So just put the .com on there and all of that. Yeah, so, yeah, they've been having all kinds of weapons and stuff, and I'm going to put, see, I'm going to put all that stuff out on this show so we know what's really happening, and I'm going to keep us informed with what's been happening in the alien world, abductions, stories, stuff that was big when it happened, like I said, but not talked about today, and it's not talked about today because they don't want us to know. The big secret keepers want to keep it away from us, and they don't want us to know. They don't want you to know. But you got to know. Don't swallow the lies, man, that they expect you to believe. Don't swallow them. A lot of people swallowing all, every lie out there. They take it and they hear it. And, you know, we question everything around here. Shit, <laughs> everything. And that's the way to go. Question everything. 
That's it. So I'm putting it out there to you ladies. I'm going to have a bunker in about three to four years. I'm your guy. I got to have a fucking bunker. Yeah, okay, the dude got a nice car. I have a fucking bunker, okay? Yes. <laughs> Shit. And don't, don't get me wrong. If something go down, I'm going to have a whole choice, a fleet saying, take me, take me. I'm like, you? Y'all remember that, that movie? Uh, what was it? Uh, Jackie Lee and uh, what's the other dude? Chris what, Tucker playing in when they open up that door and all those women, he said, pick one. He said, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'm telling you. But anyway. You are not, she talking about she coming to stay with me. Hell, I, I'm, I'm sorry. My bunker has a bonnet rule, okay? Bunker bonnets, no bonnets in the bunkers, okay? If you can come without the bunker with, with no bonnet, you good. Yeah, rush hour, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> right there. They might be unpopular option, but the military industrial complex it's a tool like any other. Else. And the problem is who's ho- you got that right. You see Reagan and a lot of what did Reagan say back in the day? He said the most feared thing is the military in, in industrial complex. This is why we can go back to you see all the other crazy stuff that somebody put in a chat earlier here in Texas. Our the Border Patrol and, and our own government is fighting each other on the fucking borders. And they got to go to court. I mean, you know, that exists where the, the president can't call down and tell y'all to stand a freaking down. But, man, it, it's so much crap. She talking about don't do that to me, the bunnies. Yeah. I just got to see it up close and personal, okay? Now, there may be a lot of stuff come with that bonnet that dude can ignore the bonnet, okay? There may be a reason that he, you know, he'd be like, you look up at the bonnet, then you look down, look up at the bonnet, and look down and say, oh, baby, the fuck, don't worry about that bonnet. That bonnet ain't covering nothing. You, you get what I'm saying? That could be a possibility. But if it's a body bonnet, shit, no. Ain't nobody doing that. Look, she said, I'm, who that tip? Say, I'm coming to the bunker. Come on to the bunker. She said, I'm coming to the bunker. That's it. See, there we go. We have a whole bunch of us in the bunker. As long as somebody can cook. You know, make some, you know, open a can of corn and now we got some scratch butter pecan corn or some shit because we got to make some shit up down there in the bunker now. You know what I'm saying? All of that, we good. But y'all remember there's a new movie. It's out. I watched it on Amazon or whatever where they everybody's living in these silos right now. And it's like that. And they had this window where everybody just looking out. But they all underground is up to 10,000 people and they're on all these floors. It's like they're already making it right now. Yeah, they're making it right now. She says she's in the South. I can cook. Everybody claims that. What would be your biggest, mo- put it on here, your favorite cook South recipe that you know you can cook in your sleep? Scratch is somebody you say, just give me this. You already can feel it. You know what's going to go in there and how much because you just know you done done it enough that you don't even have to see it. But, you know, if I turn this over and do sh- sh- that's enough pepper. You know what I'm saying? I already know that's how good you are with doing this. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that, you know, you got restaurant style cooking, you know, where people will pay money to taste your food. We own to something. But if you cook and then our friends don't come back and I'd say my, 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 my girl is cooking tonight and they go, ah, I'll pass. Oh, she's cooking our favorite meatloaf. I'll still pass. We got a problem. We got a problem. Nicole said a community bunker. No, no. Yeah, that's fine. But I get it. Beef roast with carrots and potatoes and cornbread. <laughs> what is the iced tea? Sugar, honey, iced tea. Break it down. I use that when I'm just trying to make sure. And actually came from a movie, by the way. A uh, long time ago, it was a, uh, you know, whatever the guy, 
Madagascar when they was on the beach and, and Marty was getting ready to hit him. He said, oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. I was younger. I thought it was so funny. I just adapted it. Yeah. So sugar, honey, iced tea, S-H-I-T. It just keep me from saying that. She said, I cook full Thanksgiving meal with everyone. All right. We're going to go with that. We'll go with that. But, all right. Are you ready if aliens show up tomorrow? You know there's going to be a run on everything. Life as we know it is going to change. I'm not saying that they're coming to change it, but there will be a lot of hysteria. You know that, I know that, right? People will be going freaking bananas if that's the case. We know it. People will be going bananas. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Summer's in the house. She sent me a beautiful gift for the New Year's. Um, I just wanted to make sure I saw you in that to let everyone know. It was well put together. She put some, you know, it was some, it was really personal. And so, Summer, I want to thank you for it. I'm still just trying to go over it, reading the future. All of the, man, it was just so well put together, and I know you put a lot of thought into it, and I want to thank you personally just for taking the time uh, and sending that box to me. So really appreciate it, y'all. She really did. Um, I will share it with y'all, some of the stuff, but it was really personal for me for the future, um, you know, and it was just really, I have some great people out there that watches over me and part of what we're doing, and I just want to thank all of you. And I won't let you now. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. And uh, so, like I said, it's one of those things that we have to pretty much do some great stuff. You know, when it comes down to this extraterrestrial stuff. Yeah. She said, Deadpool, I fell so far. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff out there. And, and we talked about it in other videos, if you haven't seen it, but the movie stuff is pretty cool. It's there. It's really there. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff in movies and different things that pretty much. But that would be cool to have a community bunker. But that's what the guy did, right? Uh, and I'll play the video again. That's what they have because it's 15 floors and, and everything. So they, and here's a picture first. So that bunker has 15 floors or whatever, and you go down to the bottom floor and you have your own condo. And it's so well put together where these people are in it and you don't even know you're there. It's just so cool, right? And, but they're preparing for it. So I'll play the video again. Of nowhere, rural Kansas, the site of an abandoned nuclear missile silo. Armed security patrol the entrance to a doomsday bunker that's reserved for the wealthy elite, and sales are booming. Since the uh, election of Donald Trump, we've seen a whole new demographic of people calling in, people that didn't know we existed before. Larry Hall is the owner of the Survival Condo Project. These 16,000 pound doors lock you inside. We're heading deep below the surface of the earth into an underground bunker like no other. We are in a typical full floor residential unit. And even though we are more than 100 feet underground right now, you can see that it's certainly not a claustrophobic area. 12 luxurious condos exist here with fireplaces, high end appliances, jacuzzis, even windows. Yes, windows. High definition TVs broadcast a live feed of the outside world right into your living room. The price tag for this three-bedroom, two-bath condo, $2.3 million. Well, as the sign says, welcome to the beach. And look at this. It's a swimming pool with a slide and waterfall. Other common areas include a movie theater, rock climbing wall, and shooting range. There's even a farm that grows all the fresh fruits and vegetables you'll need. This can grow up to 70 different uh, species of plants, lettuces, uh, tomatoes, carrots. How can we, these people not playing. 
they're not playing. He, he now that window thing is in that movie where they had a window where you can see out, but it's perfect that at least you can look outside if it's raining today or if it's not, or there's people walking around on top trying to get in. You already know what the outside looked like. Oh, bright day. But like you said, they can stay under there two years if they wanted to. And they use the word wealthy elite. So, but the elite are buying everything. They're buying all of this stuff. And it's crazy that they're doing it. Uh, let me see if I got something that I wanted to share with y'all. Hang on. All right. I think I have. Yeah, let me see. Oh, man. Hang on. Let me see if this works. Hold on for a second here. Yeah, I think we have. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so I found something I want to show y'all. So if y'all ready, put ready in the comments here. And let me know you were still with me. How can I send pictures? You can email them to contact at whythebigsecret.com. I'll see them. And then I can try to bring them on. That's C-O-N-T-A-C-T, blah, blah, blah. Let me see if I can show my screen and let you hear something. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to share this right now to y'all. Okay. Let's go. All right, and I'm going to play this so you can see where we're going. It's going down. Y'all know how I love real estate, and I usually like to build and go up. We're going underground now. One time for all my doomsday preppers. Elon Musk, I see you. I saw your ground plans. I'm impressed, but guess what? My bunker going to have a garage. My bunker gonna have wings. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, we breaking ground. Huge excavations. You gotta have your fluids. I got a water maker. Oh, something like a machine that makes water out of H2O. I got a water maker. We got our canned goods. So if you're thinking the brothers ain't ready, we ready. I'm excavating. It's going down. Y'all know how I love real estate and I usually like to build and go up. All right, so y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all saw that, right? And it's good that he said, he said, uh, <laughs> the brothers are ready. No, a few bros are ready. Yeah, I know. I saw that too. Water is H2O. I was like, do he know water is H2O? But maybe he got some new technology we don't know. Yeah, maybe he, I don't know. But I, I'm going with the message, not the the grammar of it all. I know, man. These dudes got money. They're doing it. But in Colorado, you can get a bunker for 700000 I was the guy that I was talking to in the military. He's like, Roderick, I'm gonna hook you up, and uh, you get in touch with some folks. I'm, I, I want to work for that. I got a lot of big things coming in the future. I want to go ahead. If I don't have to worry about this, I would damn show one of my resume. I got a bunker, and I'm leaving it to the next generation. You damn right. Yeah. So now, don't get me wrong. If there was some huge extension level event, like there was some freaking asteroid. You can bunker your hell out of this shit. Who I don't know. Maybe it's on a planet. It probably still work. But they're definitely maneuvering this for some calamity that could just happen on the top surface level where you might have to, you know, just hide out for a little bit until we get things under control. 
I mean, we got a military. We got some stuff. They might get some stuff under control, but you damn sure don't want to be whatever. So I don't. I don't know. Yeah, he. Yeah. So he told me he got industrial like cans of baked beans. That's spaghetti. You laughing, Philly cat? You 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 got jokes. But I tell you what, that industrial can of freaking baked beans, the chili, whatever. Shit. Get me over his house. Shit, let me come. I'm, now, I'm going to have my own anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got earthquakes. You know, we having those, tsunamis. We have a lot of stuff. Now, in one of the books that we're going to be talking about, what is alien is really telling the story from behind the scenes that they was in, you know, that they had in hostage. And one of the things she said is that the military or earth it's not what we think. It's a beautiful place to us, but other civilizations do not think because their lifespan is a little different than the average human. So some of them live 200 years, some of them live 1,000 years. So they can see how Earth conditions change. You know, So they see things totally different. And I can understand that because I remember I bought my first piece of property and it was on this place called Millionaire Mountain and they were selling this lot. And the guy told me he had paid like seventy five hundred for the lot, but he was selling it to me for like thirty grand. And I remember we was walking the ground, and he just kept saying, "Man, I don't remember these hills and stuff." And it was all flat. And he hadn't been there in twenty, thirty years. He was an older gentleman, but it was flat thirty years ago, all across this thing. And now, where I'm looking at it, I'm like, "Oh, I man, this would be a great place to put a house." But if I had to build a house on it thirty years ago, it would probably be gone. Yeah. Yeah. A wet stink bunker. What are y'all talking about? I'm missing it. Well, I'll get back to it. But, yeah. So you, you're talking about all this stuff. And uh, it's a lot of stuff, you know, going on out there. A lot of stuff. But back to what we're talking about. If you just hopping in with us, we're talking about the zombie deer, that there's a lot of uh, or spreading of a, a case could possibly some outbreaks, and it's been going on for years. And the last article that I was looking at was saying that how it has now collectively uh, is now spreading across the U.S., and it could affect a lot of places. Um, and this is what's happening with this. This And this was back a few years ago, this article. But I start finding more recent stuff that's saying it, it is, you know, even different. Uh, and, of course, you know, I'm telling you about a zombie, you know, but, you know, survival gear pack. But still get you a regular bug eye bag if you don't have one. Um, and put in a chat. Who Who's planning on getting a, a bug eye bag one day? Yeah, I want to know. Who are you? Where are you? If some research, then maybe they will, I think. Who, who's playing on? I saw this in the days in the body. We don't want any zombie deer meat. Well, we don't know. It could be in the food supply. People don't know. It's in the food supply, and you would know it was in there. How would you know? And that's something that most people wouldn't think about, but how would you know it's in there? But I've said it before. Shouldn't we dig deeper into this as a community? Fucking right, we should. We need to dig dig deep. Yeah. The signs are all around us, you know. We dare to open our eyes and, and, and look for the truth in this, you know. So it's a twofold thing. If something is about to spread, and then I'm getting back channels of saying, hey, people are buying these type of gear, and then I'm, you know, people in our community saying, you know, oh, you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. Because I called my cousin and he was laughing like, man, I just laughed. Literally. Because I'm building my bunker. I'm going to buy one. And he ain't on the list. I knocked him off the list today. I was like, man, nah, I don't care. We cool, but you ain't, you can't come back three years from now talking to me, man, uh, you, can I come to your bunker? Hell no. Because you, you, you know, no, no, I don't have to worry about that. Swim. Sink or swim. <laughs> Sink or swim. Shit. Mm-mm. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. 
Can my wife come then? Can my wife come with you in the bunker? That's your wife. Protect her. No, she can't. I ain't interested in that. Leave your wife with you. It's your wife. Protect your wife. <laughs> yeah, you got to have, Nina, you correct. You got to have a, a certain things, uh, pretty much. And, and, and let me tell you, all of them ain't built the same. Yeah, they all are not built the same. There are some that are not. And the ones, everything now, compared to what I was doing last year and this year, is nothing compared to the same. They may be 20 or $30 more, but they got the real military grade shit in it. And yes, they do. Yeah. Singles only? Yes, singles only. <laughs> and one stud. No, just kidding. But I'm saying, you know, you know, we just, if we did a community, we'll still have some rules. Yeah. Yeah, you still have some rules. You know, all that. Yeah, we're going in some crate there. Now, it's not a theory, my man. Let me go back. What do you say? It's Rob, we're going into some theories again. It's me, Joby. What's up? He said we're going. To, I'm just saying that it's, it's there. We're talking about this stuff. The, the rich people are buying bunkers and everything else. We got to look into this stuff. Yeah, we have to look into it, you know. I got this friend, man. He, this dude, it's my boy. But he surely calls every time I'm on live. Yeah. I'm going to let him know I am on live. And I'm going to let him know talking about you calling me, yeah. Let him know. So he'll know. Yeah, so Nina said, I smoke meats. I can make government anything to smoke meats. I'm coming to tour the bunker, and I'm single. Oh, shit. You see what I'm saying? I knew. That's what I'm saying. You got to put yourself in demand, baby. You got to put yourself in demand. Everybody got a car. Everybody got, you know, maybe they got a little bag. Okay. I'm talking a provider. I'm, I'm security from bombs and shit, right? That's the kind of security I'm talking about. You know, big doors and stuff. Now, I don't know if we want to procreate because it would sure be crazy. You find out it ain't yours and you've been in a bunker two years and she came down there pregnant, just had a, a late sperm. He talking about what do you mean? That would look like me. <laughs> you like, I don't know how I got pregnant, but it was a late, a late blue one. A sperm. He been there. He just took a long time to get there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that'll be funny. <laughs> that'll be real. But the real, but it's real, people. It's real. That's all I'm saying. Things are happening. We got to investigate it. We got to, we got to do it. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Let's look into. All of those things. Um, but, yeah. I just want to shout you out. I'll shout you out for for that. But Oh, and by the way, I, let me put this disclaimer out there. If you come in my bunker, it's, 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 it's open season, you know. It don't be, you know, we... We would have banned words like abstinence would be a banned word or you get kicked out, you, you know. <laughs> we would have words like abstinence and headaches. All that shit is a bad word. You get kicked out. None of that. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of movies feel a cat about bunkers and stuff, you know. But get your video to me. You said you can't email it or whatever. Yeah. But I, I'm just saying we still want to find out. Just keep your eyes on the story. Keep your eyes on what's happening and what's going on. Just keep focusing on 
the truth and, and what's going down. Because if you don't, you find out, then it's going to be the point. And all I'm saying is, if you do not, you know, uh, be prepared, that's fine. You know, and I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. You know, if the elites are building bunkers and I'm getting stories of bug out bags and specialty bags, which was never heard of. This shit was not heard of years ago. They weren't saying here specialty bag. And people, they're not making this up. It's not a, not, it's not a joke. And when this stuff happens, it's, it happens. And, and pretty much. And, 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 and don't try to associate these things with an apocalypse type situation if that's going to be happening. And that's what you're waiting for. We've already seen some of this stuff in real time. And so once again, when you're talking about this zombie deer, that the possibility there's something out there could spread. And all these people being prepared for something and going places where there is. Why? Because maybe those deer is not in New Zealand. So they're, they're going to fly over there out of the way where people and society, they're trying to get away from people. And I said it before, if you just got here, you know, I'll put it back up on the screen. Elon Musk built this crazy looking ass car. I'm going to buy one of those. In a year and a half, I'm buying one of those. I'm going to be driving down the street in one of those. And people are going to laugh until why would the man with all his money say this? It's right there on the screen. It's small print. I wish I could bring it up to big, but I'm going to look close on my computer and read it to you. He said, it's inspired by the cyber truck. This multi, multi-story structure is designed to withstand disasters such as hurricanes, earthquakes, and even zombie apocalypse. Do you think his marketing department would have told him to leave that shit out? That don't do that. You're going to look crazy for saying those words. He's saying preparation is everything. Preparation is everything. Make no mistake about it. Preparation is everything. And why would he do that? Why would he say that? So I'm just having great conversation with you tonight because I'm surrounded by people who I can talk about this stuff to. And so are you. You're in a community that we can engage in this conversation of what ifs. Yeah, we can do that. We in a com- we in a community that we can ask ourselves how might we uncover the truth and stuff like this that's coming up. This is our community. This is what you come. And there's a lot of more people out there that need to know we're here. I don't know how. I just got to figure out how to get the word out. But I do know they listen because when I'm doing two, three hundred thousand views on another channel, and we're we're putting the stuff over here, then I know they. And they're listening to the same stuff because what I take is what we talk about tonight. I record it and I put it there too. And they're loving it. How do we get them here? And if we get them here, then we can let YouTube fund some of these projects. YouTube can fund some of this stuff. I don't have to be asking for contributions that I don't get a lot of, but I do get from some people and much love to the ones who support. Because if it wasn't for you, and don't get me wrong, your time is important too, those who come and watch, because then that's way YouTube will pay ad money. So I'm working. This year, you're going to see videos, 30, 40,000 views, because now we own this something, baby. Now I can get some stuff to you and doing it. I'm working for that. I need that. I'm going to do that. But in the meantime, I need you. I do. I love you. I need you. <laughs> I need you. So right across the screen there, it's Friday if you want to support. There is a cash out at Why the Big Secret. You know, the dollar sign. And some of you are supported tonight, so I want to thank you already. Um, but this is how we roll. This is our ministry. We got to monetize the message, baby, so we can get it out here and, and tell the truth and, and have a place where people are going to get some. Because you're not going to get them talking about this in the mainstream. You are not going to find the conversations that we have here in mainstream media. You're not going to find it on a Sunday night on Fox. You know, well, some of them, they talking about some stuff, but they're not going to go into it. They're not going to give us possibilities, thought-provoking thoughts. What if? See, we can play what ifs here, 
And what else is big? Because we all know if, if, if was a fifth, we all would be drunk. But let's get drunk off of it. You know, if a dog had a square ass, he'll shit bricks. Well, let's do that. <laughs> if it's big around here, baby. You know, if it's big. It's very big. <laughs> it's very, very big. <laughs> I'm with you. I would put a QR code on, on it, but and people have told me that before. But let me ask you something. How, if you're watching it on your mobile and there's a QR code on the screen, how can they use it? It's not possible, right? Am I missing something? The QR code will be for somebody, if I'm looking on this and I want to QR code that, that's fine. Or if I'm watching, but you can't see a QR code in an ad on your phone and then click it. Am I missing something? Maybe I'm missing something. Yeah. Yeah. I've been told that a few times, and I, and and maybe I just didn't understand it, but if you can, yeah, if, if that's possible, yeah, you know what I mean? Magneticus is in the house. I haven't talked to him in a while. Get QR. I'm going to write that down. QR code tiger. What the fuck is that? Sounds good, though. Put a tiger in your tank. Um, but I don't know. I had invested in one, but they was billing me, and they had all these links and stuff. And at that time, everything was really tight. So I was like, QR got to go. All right, so like Nicole said, you can't. So if I put a QR code on the screen and you're watching it with your phone, how would that work? You know, you can't click it. You can't do anything with it. Even if it was sending you to a $100 million banking account, it, you can do it. Yeah, so, yeah, I just, and like I said, unless somebody know and, and I don't know, um, but I'm willing to learn and find out. I, I'm just saying I just theoretically for myself, I just didn't think that would work. However, if it's going to work, we can make sure it works. Bunker babies get any sunlight. They'll get sunlight, but you got to remember, you're only down there temporarily. Yeah, but I get it. You point the camera to the TV, but if you're talking about spreading something, TV commercials and all that, I get it. That works. I'm saying on a YouTube channel, Unless somebody's watching YouTube TV on their TV, and some people do watch it, but for the majority of people that got their cell phones, they're not going to be able to, you know, watch that on their phones unless, you know, I, I just, and maybe that's not for the majority of the people. Maybe the opportunity exists for just people in a different, various ways. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Who's to say that the earth will be what it's like over time. It's nuclear aliens, biochemical warfare would be uh, able to above live above ground. I mean, we've seen all of that in the movies, so that's fine. And watch out for those QR codes on the screen. Most of them lead to scammer banking accounts. All right, then. All right. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's some stuff because when I was doing the t-shirts, I was putting QR codes on the back for the fine lady. So, if you walk in, or it don't matter, whoever you are. Let me take that back. Scratch that. Yeah. But I put a QR code on the back of the T-shirt so somebody was interested in the alien stuff and they saw you walk by, they can scan you from behind and then, you know, they'll bring to the thing, you know, and then print. All right, so here's the deal. And this is focus group time. CJ says, I love your lives. Tell me what you like about them. What should I do more of all of you in here? Because I'm working with some people and they're asking me about my audience. What do they want? What did, why did they come here? And I'm going to ask you all these questions right now. And I want y'all participation. We're working on this right now. So let me put this in the ethos. Hold on one second. Uh, I'm going to put it in the ethos right now, purposely. Okay. All right. So, Question one, listen to me. What do you actually want ultimately? What, what do you want? And then 
What do you want from those things? We're talking about content here, life, you know, and, uh, you know, what's the tap? What do you want from here? When you come to this channel, what do you want? You know, tell me what you want. That's for starters. Yeah, because I want to give everybody more of what they want. Keep things light. Okay. High strangeness, baby. All right. You're a real one, Roderick. Oh, I love it. Stroking, stroking my ego. Oof. Yeah, of course. I would already have my, my women with me to procreate. That's fine. See, you have a choice. You know, have a long line and say, I'm heading to the bunker. I'm taking only the, you know, the women that I choose. You'll have a long line. You'll have some leaving their men on the spot who didn't buy a bunker. Yeah, they're going to walk away from some dudes. Be like, no, nah, I can't be with you no more. You need to buy a damn bunker. That's because you're not supporting him for a bunker. See, the, you want women that's going to help you and support you while you're getting the bunker together. You don't want one back there cheering, you know, saying, hey, Roderick, get the bunker, baby. No, every time you turn, you want her to hand your ass the brick so you can build a bunker or whatever you're doing. Or the encouragement. You, every time you turn, she's in on that shit. Here, all right, we got it. That's two different types of women, by the way. Yeah, but anyway, we ain't getting into that tonight. Fuck that. We're talking about uh, why people are buying bunkers. Is there something out there? Is there an apocalypse coming? Is there something we need to be careful with? Is there things that we need to be looking forward to? What is really happening that these people are spending this money, mega money? Okay, they got the money. They can, but they're also great investors, some of these people, and they're doing wise choices. Damn show, is it a real estate deal? You know? Is it a real estate deal? And you know what I really want to know? What if your house was in a great place? You know how you don't own mineral rights and stuff below the ground on your crib that you're sitting in, but a rich person can buy underground and come and build a bunker under your house and shit because you got some great land somewhere? Boy, that would be some crazy stuff. She says, oh, my goodness, we just love to talk to you and listen to you. Well, let me give you all a thing. Now, I'm working on video content to upload like the Wi files, all these other people, so that you get what we call watch time and stuff. And I got to pick more days that we're going to live stream, live stream videos, because once again, I have the advertisement off. Once we get off this, I go in, and I activate the monetization if it can be monitored. And there's a lot of stuff we said tonight is not going to happen. And then you try to get the views from that because there's so much into it. So I try to take the video, cut it back down to some absolute stuff to shorten it because we're here for a couple of hours talking. And so this is a way for us to connect and get with some stuff. Um, and I would like to do more, but I got to create content and then find a balance between the two to stay. In. But when I watch the Wi-Fi, oh, shit, he'd be having 5,000 people. The guy's good, though. I mean, I ain't lying. His shit is good. I mean, his production is good. He had five, six, seven thousand people in lives. I mean, one night he contribution was five, six grand in thirty minutes. I'm like, shit, what the fuck? I would have a team too. We working at it though. We working at it. Oh, I have a great voice. You'll never find a love like mine. Somebody, you know, so I'm, I know I'm getting off now. This is where Freaky Friday turns a little bit, but let's get back on track. I want to conclude our conversations as we get ready to come to a close in the next 15, 20 minutes here is the, set, is the fact that we as truth seekers have to keep our eye on the ball. We have to understand that Due to the level of life and where we're at, information is disseminated between those filters. And it's just where it is. And But we keep our ears on the ground as a collective. We may can make some moves as a collective to be prepared and, and understand or just stay on top of stuff. And this is why I'm spending a lot of time giving you stuff that's in the yellow book, the RH negative blood, stuff that exists that they don't really want to talk about is right in our freaking eyes. And that people need to really grasp and say, okay, this is happening. Why don't we pay attention to this stuff? It's high strangeness. 
And as my tagline says, you may not believe it and you may not, but you better hear it, listen to it, understand it, research it, look it up yourself, and maybe you will find out some stuff that you need to find out. But we are going to get it done here. We're going to be doing that. And, the, and that's why we're covering what we're talking about tonight, because it's got some obvious stuff. Deer in the head, whew, deer in the head, like cliche on words, right? But we're talking zombie deer and other stuff that's sitting here right before our eyes. It's in the news. Same thing as alien abduction, hybrid. All that stuff is in the news. We just, do we pay attention to it is what I'm asking. Yeah. Do we pay attention to stuff? Yeah. Oh, I'll sing to your ass in a bunker. All right. I'll do that. But that's okay. I mean, I get it. You know, y'all know I'm on my personal journey, and the most struggling is just getting the more, not the energy, you know. Yeah, I personally want to... uh, and, and, and let me say this right now. I'm going to say this right now to anybody listening and, and pay attention to this. This is important. My history, I've, I've been in MLMs, multi-level marketing. I've done this years. I've built large teams, made some incredible money back in the day, uh, done it, understand the team building process to, you know, these are affiliate market. There's a lot of companies. There's some with great products. Okay. I am... Looking to partner with one, I have a million dollar gut, okay? Right here. This thing is a million dollars, and I'm blessed to have it. It's worth a million dollars. And how, if I'm able to, not with surgery or anything else, but hard work, get this, I want it off, okay? I want it off. I want to, you know, I want to be, when I go out and do my street stuff, I want to be, have a lot more energy and physical movement. I mean, I'm good, but I want to be better. I want to jump over a fucking car if I want to. So I want to get this off and and do things. Uh, so when I you hear me say MLM, you know, if I find a good product that I can endorse, and then at the same time other people using it, and it comes back that once again can fund some of the stuff, I'll do it. But not these, I've been done, I know a few, I know a few personally, some of the leaders and owners, but that revolutionary product besides, probably it's going to have to be a salad anyway, just go eat some salad and some green shit. I've been doing that, but uh, yeah, we, we can start a challenge, we can start all kinds of stuff, you know, like a three-day fast that you can't even handle your damn self, you, you know what I'm saying? We can start stuff like that, I think. People can do it, but yeah, they can do it. You are the product. I know. That's why I said I got a million-dollar gut. Seriously, I do. All of us do. Anybody that's carrying a lot, a lot of weight, just get it off and tell the story. Yeah. All right, let me put this up right here. Hang on. She says... uh, uh, I'm enjoying this show. I want to talk about what the military insiders are seeing. The end result may be. Let's talk about the alien plan and what do they want from Earth. All right. So I don't know coffee and tea. And make sure that you send an email for the clubhouse stuff. You know, you can do that. Everybody say they're going to do stuff. And then, you know, I go looking and I don't see it. But if you don't, I understand. But here's the demand to your question. I don't think. There is a handful of people that know, I won't use the word the end, but they do know the scenario of what could happen from the alien perspective. And this is why we have disclosure and non-disclosure that's happening in our military, the technological stuff that's behind all of this. That is very important to, to understand. Um, I think that is there an end game? I don't think there's an end game, but we still as people want to go look back through ancient civilizations, the pyramids and Mayans, and what happened to all of these other civilizations that came and gone? You know, they just up and disappear. So we, we still want to think about what could possibly happen. Now, because we're now figuring out that there's a lot of uh, species, you know, 
it's it's just one of those things. I don't think everybody knows everything. I you know I would probably run from somebody who said they know everything, but I think if we listen close enough to so many different people, we could put together a puzzle, a piece, or a picture, or something to ascertain to figure out what we may be up against in some small capacity. Because only the people who created the plan know the plan, and everybody who's within the plan gets pieces of it, right? I should say. And it's probably what we're dealing with now when it comes down to the alien invasion, what is going on with the uh, disclosure, you know, why some people are looking for the technological side of things. Some people are looking for the humanity side of things. Some people just kubaya. They're here in peace. But yet you can't get that answer from a person who was abducted, who was probed, stuck in it behind. They don't say the same thing. They don't believe the peace is the same or the person who was taken and not come back. There's a lot of people who are taken and not brought back. Is that fair? Is that peace? And yeah, I know there's some people like Independence Day, they'll be standing on the roof, they're opening up right before they blow you up. There, there could be. But it's all about the conversation. It's all about the conversation. And I've said it before, and matter of fact, you know, if all of you heard of McMinnville, Oregon, they have a big UFO conference. I'll be speaking there in May. They secured everything. And they were just talking. I gave them some bullet points about Project Black and what, what I'm going to be talking about. And they, the, the organizer of the biggest UFO conference thing said, it is time for what you have to say. She said, it is time for what you have to say. I was so elated with that statement because I still get people ridicule me now. But where, where I'm tying this into right now is that in our community, in my community, there's still a lag of time talking about this stuff. And that's where we got to, you know, look into. Yeah, we, you, you're right. Who said that? Uh, we haven't scratched the surface. You're goddamn right we haven't. We haven't even came close to it. But in the Yellow Book thing, they talk about all of that stuff. So... Uh, if y'all didn't get a good read on it, you should have. Um, should have got you a copy, you know, all of that. And I think it's pretty cool to to understand that. I don't know. But I, I just think that, yeah, we want to pay attention. We want to make sure that we're in the body of work of what we're doing and we can continue down the bottom of that. Uh, we're going to do that. All right, so before we get out of here, once again, um, opportunity, make sure you go look at your, your bug out bags, um, support. I wish that I could have you know, shouted out some of you today. Uh, Would have been cool. And uh, I get it, you know. And I'm going to put my head down, but, yeah, you can see that up there. That one right there is the one hour. I mean, it's not one hour, but just own a go bug out bag. That thing ain't, ain't much. You see all that stuff in this thing? I mean, you, you ain't talking just a little over 100 bucks. You you can have something. And you get the 10% off, so y'all can go scoop that damn thing. But you get you something at least a couple of days. It may cost you, but it's worth it. Yeah. And it's got that pay feature because um, you can pay it in payments or whatever because I, I hooked it up with uh, the company, shop. So I'm going to make sure everybody can be covered doing what you do. But preparedness.life.com, make sure you go and do that. So one more time, if, um, if you want to give a shout out to the store, I mean to the uh, show, you know, if you want to be the sponsor of tonight's show, we can just say you were the sponsor of tonight's show. Uh, I will appreciate it much, much appreciate it. And if I have served you, then I want to thank you for your time. It is Friday night. And we all love each other because we all here tonight. It's Friday night. But I'm, I'm fun. I'm lovable. So it's great for you being here. I'm a lovable guy. I really am. And I ain't going to lie to you. She will. When we were in the, when we were married, she just crack up. I used to have a laugh and a sleep. We we just laugh. We would go places and the people would be laughing and she say, "I get this all the time." That was some good stuff. 
I mean, my outlook is just different. I just like to have fun and talk about it. You, know, you want to laugh with me? You can laugh with me. But we're going to laugh here together. No problem. No problem. But yeah, cold bug out. Well, cold bug out is one word, so you got to put it together. But yeah, cold bug out give you the 10% off. Yeah. Cold bug out is 1%. Like, share, and subscribe. Absolutely make sure y'all do that. And uh, yeah, the code is bug out one word, if it could be one word. It is one word for the code. Bug out is the word. All right. I got the thing here. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the code is bug out. The other one is ready. Ready is for the bigger stuff. We'll get you uh, as well. Yeah, let me put this here. Yeah, so it's it's all good. It's all good. And uh, anything else we need to cover before we get out? Anything um, before we get out of here? It's Friday. I'll be back in a few days. Um, we can do that as well. I'm working on a video to upload. Make sure y'all share and watch that. Anything in particular topics or something we can talk about and everything else. Um, thank you, Tip. How you pronounce it? Let me see. Is it Tip? Tip Nico? Let me just say that. Tip Nico. Thank you. You're real and you speak the truth. Put the word out. I mean, I, I'm, I'm telling you. I realize I do a good job. Because when I'm over at uh, Billy Carson's channel, they there, they watching it. They comment 5,000 likes on video, 3,000 likes and 500 comments and, and 50 and 100,000 views. And maybe they just like it, you know, I be, so I be now trying to get them to come over here. You know, come, come over, come on, come on, come on, come on. But I gotta, I, I, I'm figuring it out, though. It's creeping. We are growing. You know, we are growing. So I'm, I'm not saying we're not growing. We are growing, though. We are. And thank y'all for that, your time and in, in, in allowing it to grow. Yeah. But we definitely, yeah, we can do it. All right. So shout out. Well, I, I'm seeing I'm on his channel. Kim, I get it. I mean, I'm not Billy. I'm twice as many, three times as many as Billy is, literally. <laughs> All right, that's the, I, I don't mind talking about myself. I know some of y'all get on me, but I, I don't mind talking about myself because you can't laugh at yourself. You you know whatever. I'm, but I'm, I'm I still love me some me. I love the fucking me. I love me some me. <laughs> I really do. I love some me. Uh, but yeah, tell them to bring that ass over here. I know that's. I be trying to put stuff in there. I cut it off the last time. Like you know. Come over here at the end. Now we getting we we probably get a hundred, a couple of hundred people subscribe out to each show. Okay, they're growing. We're growing. Um, and I want that plaque. I want that silver fucking plaque. hundred thousand K. And I'm not gonna stop until we do it. You're gonna know. We're gonna have a celebration when it comes. I mean, we're gonna have a big celebration when when the time comes. And I'm just gonna increase the content of what I do. I'm gonna do it more and more and hit it harder and harder. And that's why I'm working toward this year for the spring and all of that, you know, to to really put it out there. So we're we're doing that. Uh, all right, you're gonna send it what through the email? I'm gonna be looking for it. I know two years ago we had less than five thousand subscribers. I know Nicole, right? I remember. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna uh, in the next three months. We want to hit over twenty thousand. That's the goal. And the end of the year, I want fifty to hundred k. And then at that point, we're rocking. Yeah. Me and the moon says you will have it shortly. You know what my dream is? My dream is 
a five minute FaceTime. Yeah. Five minutes. Just just five minutes. Just, that's a dream. Just five minutes. With the president of the United States. <laughs> just to say, dude, what's the aliens? What's the aliens? You know, where they at? <laughs> Where's the aliens? What do you do? Well, sci-fi girl says she got to know you appreciate it from the awards. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do some stuff, though. (laughs) We're going to do some stuff. We're going to do some stuff. Yeah, we're going to do it. But it's been a plum, pleasing pleasure as well as a privilege. I love each and every one of you. Uh, I really do. Make sure you hug the people around you. Uh, you know, don't try to force this stuff on people because they'll just bag up. Well, when a student is ready, the teacher will appear. There will be events in people's lives that they're going to begin to question. And once they have questions, just bring them slowly. Don't pour everything on them. Don't say, I told you, and try to be the bigger person to not a smaller person to let them know you was right all the time. You're not crazy. Just let them wallow through it. I got a friend. He listens. We talk every other day. He'll say, yeah, yeah. And I just watch him slow. I'm a plethora of information for him, but I can overload his ass if I tell him everything I know, but he walks really slow and and he coming and I just feed him a little more and a little more. And then one day him and I are going to sit down and we're going to have to talk. I'm going to put some shit on him and he'll be like, damn, Damn, I wish I didn't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's okay. We got people out there. We just we just take our time. But I, like I say, I love you all. And, you know, but we do want our community to grow. We want more. And I, and I work tirelessly trying to figure out, but sometimes by on the back end, it's a struggle someday. It really is uh, to be here, um, you know. Um, you know, like I said, we had that freeze and, and – you know, in, in the front room of the studio, it was cold. Had I done this two days ago, all you wouldn't send the whole show. It's just shh. Now, in my office, I got heat. I'm cool. But in the studio, it was cold. It was really cold. They had to fix stuff. Internet, all kinds of shit was just happening over the weekend. My dog, Zulu. Oh, when y'all see some new pictures of him, he have grown. He is beautiful. He's just turned a year on the first. Uh, but let me get back to what I was saying. Make sure. You give people a hug, bring them slow information. Um, and I've always said it to my haters. I said all the time, if you can hate me and you don't even know me, then I can love you without ever, without knowing you. I don't want to meet you, but I can still love you. I still get people that put in a chat, you know, on a chat or they'll put on a video. Rodri, you saying this again. I'm, I'm always coming. You're still doing this. And at first it used to bother me because I don't care what any, I, I really never give a damn about what anybody says about me as long as it's not the truth. <laughs> but anyway, he, they were, the guy would always put, you saying this, and I start, it just dawned on me. He keeps coming and listen to give me his critical words. He's a fan. He's a fan. Roderick, don't get upset. He's a fan. So once again, if you're here and you hating on me and you've been here again and you're coming back to keep saying all the shit I don't do or is doing, you're a fan, and I appreciate you, and I appreciate your critical analysis. <laughs> yes, I do, all across the board. Yeah, thank you all for being here too. And uh, all right, last time, anybody want to anybody want to shout out? Anybody want to make a Donation, I'll shout out to you. You don't have to, but if you do, I'll shout out to you and tell you thank you. And I thank you anyway for being here, your time, every time. Your time is the most precious thing you could give anybody any fucking way. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. All right. Um, I get it. Let me see if I can find that. (laughs) Comment. Yeah. I'm going to look for the comment that was really that I missed, but uh, I saw it scroll, but I'm going to try to highlight it before we go because it it meant so much. I just want you to know. So I'm going to find it. 
hundreds and hundreds. So let you know the comment I'm about to show on the screen. I'm looking for it because it scrolled so fast earlier. But I want you to know that I saw it. And we're going back on it. It even brought to my attention I saw it here. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to find your comment before we go. All right. So, yeah, there's a couple of you said a lot of great things here. That was one of them. But let me go back. Keep going. And maybe I don't find it, but I'm going to not stop until I ultimately do. And it was said long, long, long time ago, long time ago. But at the moment when I ask, and I should have acknowledged everyone. Um, well, maybe I am just not... I'm going to keep going for 10 more move of the pins here in 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Oh, look, see, that, that goes to I was at the end. Boom. She says, he's the only person I can watch this kind of content with and not leave depressed and hopeless because he brings so much humor to it. I be damned. Let me tell you something. I meant to say something about that. So I'm going to thank you for the comment. Y'all, y'all see it on the screen. My mission, when I first started this journey, this is a true freaking statement. I was arguing with other ufologists because they was always mad because Roderick is saying this. And I said, I got to be the person, bring it where we can talk about it, laugh about it. We're not laughing at you. We're laughing together because it's going to be a conversation that we're supposed to be able to have. So I told people that was working with me in the beginning, I want to do a little infotainment. I want to just put my personality into it. We need to laugh because it's, it's so serious. Oh, Roderick, just some serious stuff. It is, but we got to make it to a point that we can deal with it with humor and everything else. So I like your comment. He's the only person I can come and watch this kind of content and not leave the press. If I do that for you, then I am doing my job, and I really appreciate you saying that because behind the scene, it is something I deal with on a daily basis and try to achieve and do this all the time. That is the magic behind what I've always been trying to accomplish so that people can talk about this, especially in our communities. I can get us to start the conversations. It's not taboo. It's we can, and, and it's a different level of objectivity to cheese and go after people of some stupid versus us just having a conversation and laughing about the possibilities of what they can do and still taking it serious. It is. So y'all give a shout out to Sci-Fi Fantasy Girl and thank Body Supplement. Monica, thank you as well. Um, y'all give a shout out because... That was said 40 minutes ago, and I remember it. I didn't respond to it, but it was that significant that we had to go back and look for the comment. Thank you for being you. Yeah, so just giving you that. Today is your day, your moment. Yes. Your moment. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the point. We're not trying to fear. We just wanted to... And hopefully I inspire somebody to, so I'm telling you, I need my first 10 people to get a bug eye bag. I, uh, here's the deal. I'm just to be transparent. I told the dude, I got an audit. He says, man, if we put this together and put you in the loop of this top quality stuff, do you have an audit? Because it is $30 and $40, then some of the cheaper stuff that has cheap shit in it. And I said, man, I got some serious people. So I put the discount. So that I'm not making nothing, but you can still get it at a lower cost so I can prove to him that our audience doesn't. Now, Nicole will tell you, Lana will tell you, we've had people, and this is a true story, that used to want to come on a show. And when I told them I want this is how we want the show notes and this and this and that, they was like, I've had people to send me stuff to say, your audience is not ready. I talked about it on a show six, seven months ago how we were so offended by some of these people and how they look at the audience. Because I'm not sitting here telling you nuts and bolts about a spacecraft that can zero gravity technology. Who gives a fuck about that? I, I mean, I, it's, it's. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm on a soapbox. 
it's information. We're going to talk about it, but that ain't messing with my life today. But if I don't walk out of here and he's standing behind the bushes and going to take me to planet X, I care about that one. I want to know. I want to know they building bunkers because there's a outbreak coming. We want to know that. That's ground level stuff. Ground level stuff. Right off the bat. Ground level stuff. But anyway, I need y'all to buy your whatever so I can tell him we got, because those are going to be my honorary, honorary people for what we're going to be doing. Because we're going to blow this thing. We're going to be bringing a lot of stuff out because we're going to be talking prepping for a long time. And I'm going to give y'all some inside stuff, information, survival tactics, inside UFO stuff. Okay? Yeah. Hell yeah. We're going to be doing it. We're going to be doing it. All right. It's almost 11 11, one minute to 11 11. So that means that's a good number. I love you. Um, if I expect the email from you, make sure anybody who's going to email me, especially our clubhouse folks, if you don't have stuff, we're going to talk. We'll, we'll get some stuff together from there. Share it. Uh, some of these videos I'll trim down and I may leave us from the same, change the, the stuff uh, pretty much and uh, share. Let's talk about it. If you got any insight, Anyway, if you want to do some posting for me and I send you some posts to spread the word, contact at wildbigsecret.com. I can email you some social posts. All this stuff. I need everybody in on this now. We, we need to do this thing. Really need to do it. Uh, Philly Cat says she's waiting on a phone call. Hey, I forgot to. I did tell people I wanted some extra moderators. I saw some of y'all emails and then somehow I missed some stuff up. So if you want to be a moderator... Uh, I need about four or five of you. You put your thing, uh, and then I'll add you to be a mod so you can look at the chat. When we have guests, make sure the guest is not offended. Uh, all of this stuff, pe put people in some timeouts. I mean, they may hate on me. You may can say, but if it's something in the ordinary, get them out the chat. Ban them. Whatever you want to do, that's fine. Uh, so, But just take it light, likely that you just don't do things out of havoc, but just be fair. Uh, contact at whythebigsecret.com. I need your YouTube handle, okay? Your YouTube handle, which is whatever your channel handle is, that's the only way I can make you a mod. Don't just say, I want to be a mod. If you want to be a mod, give me the information, and I may just go ahead and just add you and don't even have to talk to you, and I'll reply to the email and say, you've been done. Uh, so let's do it. Uh, and Philly Cat said you're waiting for a phone call. So Email me again your number, and I'll call you tonight after the show if you up. Uh, I'll be free in a little bit. And uh, and once again, I'm building a bunker, babies. So whoever want a bunker, man, huh? I'm your guy. I'm a provider. Yes, protection, all of that stuff. Yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right. Uh, that's it. Good night, y'all. Let's get you out of here so that you could uh, go enjoy Good night. Love you.